right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Waverly Summer 98, our bubblegum shoe campaign of teen detectives, 90s nostalgia, supernatural fey weirdness, and sheer complete chaos. Welcome back. Uh, <laughs> Before we jump into the game tonight and do a little bit of a recap, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors. Um, we have uh, Maddie and his amazing, uh, amazing merch shop, I promise I can speak tonight, um, are the sole provider of Welcome to the Party merch. So head on over to stonenerdwear.com and use the code WELCOME at checkout to get 10% off your next purchase. So nerdwear, what the nerds wear. And also a big thanks to Devin Rue, uh, who has provided huge support to the Welcome to the Party community since we launched. So for some of the best cartographical content on the web, check out rueinc.com. And as always, you can join us on our amazing Discord, hang out with all of these awesome people and other awesome people as well, and be awesome together. It's been a weird day. It's going to get weirder. Uh, so with that, I would like to go around and have our players introduce themselves and who they're playing tonight, and we will start with Ren. Ren? I was still messing with the tech. Sorry. You <laughs> Sorry. Every time. <laughs> okay. Every time I screw this up. Hi, I'm Ren. I'm <laughs> doing the background stuff, so I was, I'm always distracted for the first 45 seconds. It's fine. I am Atomic Firebird on the Twitter land. I play Cory, the jock archetype. Totally fun guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh and God. Michelle. Best guy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Michelle. I play Darcy, who's a gearhead and somehow, I guess, the group mom or something. I don't know how that happens. I just, anyway. It was meant um, to be. We both use she, her pronouns. <laughs> and to KP. Hi, everybody. I'm KP of KP Alone Photos. And I play Arwen, uh, also he, him. He's a photog slash journalist background kind of a person. And also a little bit of a scaredy cat in the last few episodes. So there you go. And Wasa. Yes, Wasa here. I uh, use they, them pronouns, as does Basil, the character that I am playing, who is the new kid. Um, yeah. And finally, Austin. Hey, everybody. I'm, I'm Austin. Uh, I'll be playing Leon. Both of us, our pronouns are he, him. And Leon is the pop culture comic junkie. And That's I kind. am Sarah. I'm the GM, I use she, her pronouns. I'm playing everybody else in the game. Um, and yeah, so last time uh, a big massive storm came to town, thunderstorm of somewhat epic Midwest proportion showed up. Uh, during which um, Leon uh, point blank straight up asked the principal Santiago if she was a fae. Uh, she dodged the question as best she slash I could, um, and a few other incidents similar occurred as well um, through some continued uh, chaos antics. The um, Corey, Leon, and Arwen have all ended up at Leon's parents' shop uh, during the storm. Um, Leon's parents are very, very understanding of everything that's going on right now. <laughs> Um, and uh, Basil and Darcy are hanging out at Basil's farm. Um, I believe we ended the last session with kind of everybody kind of words. Wow. Falling asleep. Thank you. Sorry <laughs> to the audience. I'm in the process of moving and packing up my entire life into boxes. So brain just doesn't really exist at the moment. I'm trying. But yes, everybody wow. falling asleep because that's what you do at the end of the day. <laughs> I think actually I ended um, up with shaking uh, Leon out of sheer frustration. That's what I remember last <laughs> doing, which is like yeah. utterly like shaking him. Cause, but Absolutely. yes. Um, also of important note is uh, a couple episodes ago when Basil and Darcy went to go give apology pie to Morgana for trespassing and playing Marker in the dark in her yard. Um, through the quick and 
clever use of a dropped apple, uh, Basil got a good glimpse at some document documents that had been floating around in an office in the in the farmhouse. One of which said the Fay Accords in like really fancy script on them. And so we will kind of pick up the next morning. Uh, storm itself is still happening. It's calmed down to just rain at this point and nothing, nothing is driving as torrential as it had the day before. It's just kind of a rainstorm more than anything. People are starting to, you, you see people kind of coming out of the, um, their homes and just, you know, umbrella is kind of just, I'm going to deal with the rain and get on with my life kind of a thing. Um, so I believe nobody kind of split up and went back to their houses. So we still have those two groups of folks. Um, we'll stayed over in Leon's shop overnight where there's plenty of Capri Sun and, and high sea ecto cooler in the basement. Um, and also at the farmhouse or uh, Basil's farmhouse specifically there's two. Yeah, not the haunted farmhouse. <laughs> let's, let's specify, <laughs> let us specify that here. Um, and so we, we kind of zoom in, um, and I'd like to pick up at, uh, with Basil and Darcy. Cool. Um, it's the morning and Basil is a morning person and, um, has been doing the farm stuff, but after that has probably helped their mom make breakfast, which is like kind of ish, like some phyllo stuff so there's like some fried rice there's some egg there is like bacon and sausages and stuff like that it is like far too much for three individuals but it doesn't look like it's that's a strange thing um and basil or i guess to to try to make darcy feel better be like make like a couple of milo dinosaurs um and that's sort of like if you ever have had like Milo, it's like Nesquik or like that chocolate stuff. And it's like milk, ice, and it's like you get like a little mountain of like Milo on top sort of thing. Ooh, Milo! I, sorry, I actually have a bottle of a box of it at home right now. So, sorry. Milo dinosaurs are the all time best. And um, bam, you have Milo dinosaurs made by Basil. Like slide it over. Okay, I've never had this. And so when she tries it, what does it taste like? It's like, it's not like the, it, it's sweet, but it's, it's not like a really strong, like chocolatey taste because it's like malt. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's like, okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like Ovaltine, but, um, but better. It, I guess it probably had, yeah. I, I, bias. <laughs> Bias says that Milo is better than Ovaltine. Sorry for the Ovaltine fans. Um, but it's like Ovaltine. Darcy's going to enjoy this and she's going to be like, are you sure I can't help around the, the, the farm and stuff? Like, do you That's need all it? good. It's all good. You're our guest and farm stuff's like, most of the stuff's done. Um, Mum's just doing a couple more things, but um, playing host here, here's breakfast. Here's a Milo dinosaur. They are the best. I love that. Yeah, this is this is good. Thank you. Thank yeah. You so much. No worries. I have like five cans of Milo here. It's like the only thing I brought back from Australia. So if you ever want a can, I got one. I can see why you brought five. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit weird going through customs and being them were like, why do you have this? I'm like, why don't I? But you know, court, court. Uh, yeah. Uh, didn't mean to like yell at you last night. I mean, you know, there was a storm. All of this stuff is happening. I can understand. It's not a problem. Like, you sometimes you need to let something out, and we're here to listen. I'm here to listen, and. We just, I guess, I just want to make you make known that I'm your friend and I'm here to listen. Thank you, Basil. No worries. I, uh, so the thing with Susan is like, we were childhood friends and stuff. And then 
um, her dad got elected and then she moved and then all of a sudden I just didn't exist to her anymore. And she was my best friend for like, like since kindergarten, you know, and then I prefer high school comes along. I just, I just don't exist anymore. And I guess, I guess I, uh, I guess that hurt a lot more than I wanted to let on. And maybe I, part of me is like, maybe I don't know how to be a good friend or I don't, but thank you, Basil. I, 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 I'm glad we're friends. Me too. Take it from the new kid. Um, been here for a little bit and you guys are really good friends. Um, you can kind of tell, I guess, being like the flavor kid every now and then, and uh, you guys are pretty solid. So I understand. Uh, so do you need to ride anywhere or? Uh... Yeah, my bike's still pretty rough. Um, Oh, you need me to fix it? From that would be awesome. Oh, okay. um, but uh, I did speak to to Leon and everyone, and we said to meet up at Nina's. Okay. After the storm and everything, so we could just go there as well. They're at the shop. Oh, yeah. So yeah, after I, I, Corey's got school, right? So after after school, yeah, yeah. we'll meet up there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Show me your bike. I can okay. fix your bike. Let's oh, okay. okay. That that's that I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. So Basil's gonna take you to the um to the garage. And um this bike looks like well Basil's like, yeah, it kind of works. I kind of rode it back home. You're kind of like, why did you? Because it's janky. Oh, oh like wait. you're like that frame should not should not look that way. Be like, okay. Okay, no, no, this will not, this will not, what do you have here? Oh, no, okay, this will not, no, I, there is no way I can let you ride this again. So if you can come with me, uh, pick up a couple of things, go back to, well, technically it's grandpa's garage, but it's kind of like also my shop because I got like extra bicycle things because that's part of what I, I, I do. I, you know, I make some money on the side. I have a good, you know, people like the way I fix their bikes and stuff and I change or change oil. And if you need any of that stuff done, I can do that too. Um, yeah, let's do that. I know how to fix your bike. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. Sick. Let's do it. Yes. And that's what we will do. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So while breakfast and Milo dinosaurs and bike assessments are going on, we flip over to uh, Leon's parents' shop, Kuma's Curiosity is where you all, like there's, there was a room in the basement where everybody kind of hung out until the storm was over. Um, and what does your morning look like, the three of you? Uh, Leon's sleeping and he has a little note in his sleeping bag that says, Remind Corey it's a school day. Do not wake me up. <laughs> uh, Arwen is just waking up. Or he's been, uh, what time around is it right now, actually? Uh, I'd say it's probably around nine ish. Oh, oh Arwen's been awake uh, probably for at least about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, he's the type that kind of wakes up early just because of his the expectations he has at home so he tends to help around in the house at the shop so he's woken up pretty early uh with that being said he's probably already ready like he probably took a sh like, oh he doesn't have any of his stuff so he probably wouldn't be able to do any of that huh <laughs> guys just booked yeah, it over also not a shout you guys also aren't at leon's house you're at the shop you're in the basement of the you know metaphysical supply shop place hmm. so there's there's food and there's like a microwave but there's not a full kitchen there's i mean and there's a bathroom obviously but there's not like full-on right shower 
that and out. I didn't bring anything. I think I only brought br a brush kit from me and uh, Corey, and that's it. And so right, yeah, you brought a toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna uh, first thing that Arvin does is he's gonna go, he's gonna brush his teeth, and because he has nothing better to do, he's uh, until it's time for uh, 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 taking Corey to or waking him up for his uh, school day. Uh, I think summer school, right? Yeah, summer school. Mm -hmm. He's probably gonna go just peruse the shop because I don't think he's okay. ever actually like stayed there by himself. It's more of just came with Austin or sorry, came with Leon to check, you know, just meet the parents or something. And that was it, but nothing to like actually just sit and check things out. So he's going to like look through, I think if, if it's possible, if it's still out, maybe some of the books that uh, Leon's mm -hmm. mom was looking at, he probably was going to yep. like look through those. Yeah, there she's, she's put some of the books away mostly so that because, because at the end of last episode, like they just kept multiplying as she kept finding more. Mm -hmm. um, so she's put a few of them away, either because they weren't useful or just to sort of get them out of the ways that people didn't trip on them um, mm -hmm. in, in the you know night or anything. Um, but there's still a handful because she um, and Leon's dad stayed up a little bit later than you all did, or you all went to do like teenage sleepover hangout. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a few things that are just still um, out in the shop, and uh, Leon's parents are. Uh, kind of doing like morning shop things uh, the shop opens shop is technically open at this point um but oh. again it's still doing that steady rain so, and there's not a lot of like customer you know daily basis you know anyway but um yeah so you, you know you see kind of hey leon's parents and then i do see the couple of books on the counter if you wanted to take a closer look uh so i'm gonna go up to uh leon's mom just first things for him like good morning um, do you mind if I look at? Good morning. Uh, do, do you mind if I take a look at the, some of the books you were looking at last night? Just wanted to kind of. I'm just curious. I've never really looked into any of this. I never learned much about any of this. Just the basic fairy tale stuff. So I was wondering if there's any chance I could just find yeah. out more. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, there's a couple on the counter. I haven't gotten around to putting away yet. So go ahead. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there any particular one I should? Uh, definitely take a look at or just any of them should do any of them should do just you know depending on what specifically you're looking for each book has its own hmm. purpose but if you're just looking in general any one of them will work all right uh all right yeah and then he's gonna go just like read through if there's any like bookmarks or like if they'd highlighted anything he's gonna particularly pay attention to those things these are not the kind of books that you would highlight they're like you know old kind of mm -hmm rare books but there are several pages that have now have post-it tabs on them so if you want to flip through those mm -hmm. um one of the tabs a couple of them there's just some info about like morgana and titania like just the names that you've heard um one of the other tabs you flip it open looks to be a map ooh. he ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh what is it a map of it is a map of something. Um, it's you. I'm gonna. Yeah, you're gonna get this. Give points and notice. Is it Leon who doesn't? Everybody I should. I think. Yeah, it's everybody except for one. Um, uh, not, let me uh, Leon does not. I'm pretty sure I'm the one. Who yeah, you've got like... you've got a point in it. So cool. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> notice this. Leon Leon would not, but Leon's asleep, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> you you take a look at it, and it's it's of some sort of. It, it's a it's a map of land. Um, and it, that has a river and a lake and some trees on it. Looking at it and just kind of like staring at it, the pattern of like the trees and then the pattern that line up with the lake and that or line up with a lot of some of the trees line up with the river and a mm -hmm. couple of them line up with the lake in a way that matches a little bit those Again, not the bird mark, but just the dry grass that was around the trees. Hmm. It's a big oak trees around town. So you can see that like the marks that were kind of radiating out from two of the trees that formed that amorphous blob you could, you weren't sure is maybe that lake. And oh. the lines that were coming out of the other trees might line up with that river. 
So in a town with names, street named after lakes with no water in sight, there's a map of a bunch of water. It's not of the town, notably. Like the streets aren't there. Um, right. There's a couple of buildings, um, but again, the the markings that you saw around those giant trees, the trees are marked on the map and those markings line up with the water. Mm. Uh, he's gonna, just to be very, just to verify and find out what it is exactly he's looking at, he's gonna turn to Leon's parents and ask them, what, what is, what's this map of? Oh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be a map of the Fey Realm. A what? Oh, wait, how would anybody, is this like made up? Like what they think it is? You know, a lot of these books, we're not, you don't really question where they got their info from. Uh, some people, it's research from lore. It, it could be an artist's interpretation of, you know, the, just what they thought some of the land might look like. Okay. Interesting. Do, do you mind if I take a, do you have a maybe a, a scanner or not a scanner, but a, a Xerox machine or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Copy? Yeah, you want to copy? X. Yes, please. Yeah. Takes the book, goes, makes you, gives you, makes you a couple of copies for good measure um, All right. and gives you back. Uh, and the, is there any like particular markings or notations on the map at all? Or is it pretty much just is that like a design? It's, it's mostly a design. Um, there is specifically some sort of marking um, on the outside of town that, yes, would line up with the farmhouse. OK, so I was just was curious, like, if there was, like, labels next to something like, oh, this is so-and-so mountain or so-and-so lake or something. So yeah, no, there's um, not, no specific labeling on that. It's, it's a. Um, sort of mm. a top-down map that doesn't have any labels on it. Um, has like a few a markings okay. on it, again, mm -hmm. that line up with the trees and that line up with the farmhouse. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. I have no clue what else, how else to go further from this. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to ask the parents that again, but similar question. Like, is there any, like, can you, do you know what any of these markings mean exactly? Like, do they, do they symbolize something? I don't see a key or anything anywhere, so, or a legend. To point out, uh, she she comes over and she she looks at the map just to kind of and flips through the book a little bit, um, and she says, um, "Yeah, this this guy um, Maxwell's not really all that great with labeling on anything he's ever done in his life. <laughs> None of his." books are labeled and you hear Leon's dad go, we know that it's a big point of yours. Like this is an ongoing conversation they've had about this particular author not labeling his maps has annoyed Leon's mom and Leon's dad is like, let it go. <laughs> but um, she says, typically, I mean, you know, they wouldn't label it if it they wouldn't put the marking on there just for show. I mean, it's kind of an odd spot for it, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's usually with something important. Again, I think this is might just be could be something i don't know where he would have gotten a map of the fey realm i don't know where mm -hmm. he would have found one to be able to copy it so it might be Art artistic interpretation important is what it should oh. be yeah oh mm -hmm. okay uh thank you uh i think i have what i need to go by uh and he's just gonna like uh just chat with them for a bit, just if they can, if they have the time, otherwise just kind of help them. Can he, because he feels bad for just barging in at their shop and spending the night. So he's gonna be like, is there anything I can do to help? Can I like maybe stock some shelves or something like that? Or, or do you know, something? Um, Leon's dad is currently like unboxing some really pretty quartz crystals just to put in the window. Um, and uh, his mom is doing some register type stuff. Uh, but no, I mean, we got it. You don't have to, Did you oh, I okay? insist. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I mean, the, for, for the as best. good as you could in the basement of, of the shop. I mean, oh no, the location was not, no problem with that. It's just I, a lot of, a lot of things on my mind, it's just things happening and learning so many things in such a short period of time and seeing so many things in such a short period of time. Yeah. Just kinda you, you all are, uh, on, yeah. you all are. You, you all have found some things for sure in the past few days. Yeah. 
but I'm just... if you really want to help, if you really, you, you can help, you can help unbubble wrap these crystals. There's so much bubble wrap here. If you want to, if you really want to help. Sure. They look very delicate. I, I mean, if you're comfortable, it's sure. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just then he's, he's going to be like, Lynn's going to, I mean, get uh, the bubble wrap, get the bubble wrap and the packing tape off of this and set them right there okay. and I'll, I'll do the rest. Yeah. That, that's what's, he, Arvin's going to help out until it's time to wake Corey up. Okay. That's my MO. All right. So when it hits time to wake Corey up, you, 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 you and, um, I'm sorry you keep referring to him as Leon's dad. I know he has a name, um, <laughs> but I uh, have gotten most of those crystals unpacked and he's starting to, you know, polish them up, like, you know, just kind of wipe them down from fingerprints mm -hmm. and things and stick them in the window. Um, and it is, you know, time to get Corey, <laughs> Corey awake for summer school. So, so that was my my next my next question was did anybody ask Corey what time Corey needed to get up? Okay, Corey needed to get up a while ago. Corey is just like flat out like Sailor Moon spit hanging out of his mouth, sleeping <laughs> in, just I, flat I, out. <laughs> I like to imagine that Leon and Corey are both spread out on different sections of the basement floor at this point. Yeah, you 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 know what I'm talking about, Austin. Like that scene yeah. where, where Usagi is like sleeping in clearly, and there's like mm -hmm. you, you knew she shouldn't be. There will be screaming very soon. <laughs> the only difference is Leon has a sticky note he put on his blanket that's like, <laughs> "Do not wake me up." Corey did wake up at like 6 a.m. Because Corey was supposed to, you know, get up and take a jog, you know, has to keep himself in shape, but his shoes and everything were all still, like, squishy and soaked, and he just <laughs> went back to bed. <laughs> no, like, uh, you know, bonus day, you know, it's fine. <laughs> oh, man, uh, this is going to be fun, then. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, uh, Arwen's going to go and try waking Corey up and hopefully not freak him out in the process. Whoa, I don't this rabbit. What? Corey. What? Hi. Corey, uh, it's time. I, I'm, I should probably have asked this, but uh, don't you have course classes today? What are you doing in my house? I mean, you're allowed at my house. Wait, I'm not in my house. All you're right. A... Yes. Yeah, we uh, we had a little bit of an adventure last night. Uh, I can drop. Do you want to wake up and maybe get some breakfast and I should drop you off? I feel like Arwen would at least know a little bit of his schedule just because he's probably helped him out in that sense before. Yeah, uh, he'd probably know a little bit of it. What maybe. time is it? Uh, I'd say getting close to nine. Crap! <laughs> I gotta go. Uh, I, I, I'll drop you off. Come on. Yeah, I figured we were kind of running a little bit late, but I'm Wait, sure they don't mind you, for one day. Are you sure? Yeah, I got. I, I, I have some things I want to take care of. And you know how I said I wanted to get a gift for Darcy. I feel like right. we've been stressing her out unnecessarily. And based on the conversation I had with Basil last night, I don't think what we did yesterday was going to help the matters at all. Uh, so before the explosion happens, I'm hoping I could reduce the impact a little bit. Right. All right, it's all coming back. Sorry, I was having some <laughs> really cool dreams, but now I, now I don't remember them. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> I mean, uh, do you want to brush your teeth? Here, and then he kinda takes out the extra un like unopened pack of uh, like toothbrush and then hands oh. it to him. When you said, do you want to brush your teeth, Corey just started, like, doing, like, the finger go. And then, oh, yeah, takes the takes the toothbrush. Teenage boy, okay? <laughs> I've done that on, on occasions, trust me. I know exactly. <laughs> Put a little toothbrush, uh, toothpaste on your uh, finger yeah, and yeah. just... Corey, Corey will brush his teeth, get, get some water on his hands, and do the... The, the go through the, the hair with his wet Aww. fingers look and then then we'll go to school all right yeah yeah uh, Arwen's like god what why well, are you still so cool so early in the morning come on it's not fair and he just like walks away you're cool and he just let's go come on in the car all right. wait do you want to drop by for a breakfast or something like maybe at a do we have any oh, like I'll go get I'll go get something at school. You sure? Yeah. Do they actually have a cafeteria open? There's probably a 
old snack. What's the, the word with the box? Vending machine? Vending machines. Thank you. Vending machine. Oh. <laughs> the snack box. It's like red box snack with snacks. Box. <laughs> <laughs> it's the box of food. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, definitely vending machines at school. I'm not, I, they definitely don't have actual... Anything you eat in the morning is considered breakfast. So, yes, there's breakfast Look, food in there. Corey's going to have the delightful, like, 90s kid breakfast of, like, Cool Ranch Doritos and... You know, maybe like a fruit by the foot or something. Breakfast of champions. Mountain Dew. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, yes. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I was gonna take Corey to the school. Um, he's gonna try and insisting he get a better breakfast along the way, just because he knows that he's probably gonna get some crap snack or something from a vending machine. So like at least stop by like a McDonald's or something, get a, like a morning McGriddle or whatever. I don't, I don't think know. they had McGriddles yet. We're, yeah. we're in oh, the age of There's like, also not a McDonald's in town. Like you, you're yeah. like right. a six minute drive from the school. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is there anything nearby? I, I forget. Uh, there's a couple of diner locations uh, but it's, it's not a if it's almost not a yeah. clock Car Corey's barely going to be on time yeah if it's almost it's, yeah. Clock. It's I'm just going to drop him yeah, yeah I'm just going to drop him but I'm going to like along the way keep insisting get something better than just Doritos okay what's wrong with Doritos it's not it's not breakfast just how are you never mind I'm not going to have this argument again let's go <laughs> all right <laughs> all right and then I'm gonna stop at the school, school and drop off uh, Corey. All right, cool. thanks a lot. Yeah, I'll uh, see you later when you're done, yeah? Yeah. Uh, do you have an idea of what, before you go, do you have an idea of what I should get Darcy or like anything you think she would like? Well, I'm not good at gifts, but when I have to get gifts, I have to start thinking, so you, categories all right so <laughs> so darcy's a girl <laughs> excellent observation but but darcy likes bikes and stuff so like maybe not the girl section of the store touche i was thinking something maybe more mechanical yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe did she wait didn't something of hers break recently I, saw, I thought like one of her tools or something didn't work or was broken and or old i forget there was something uh, maybe i'm just remembering wrong so like if i was gonna go shopping for like my mom i'd go uh -huh. to like jc penny or something but if i was gonna think... go shopping for darcy i'd go to a home depot fair point I don't know if we have, uh, is there a Home Depot nearby or is that like further? I'm pretty sure that's not anywhere in town. <laughs> it's going to need to be a little further out, but there, there's a Home Depot somewhere in this area for sure. <laughs> Probably a little out of town, but it's there. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. Or some kind of a hard, similar t style hardware yeah. store. I'm assuming Darcy that, a, like, has something to get stuff from. The yeah, there's store. simply a hardware store in town. Yeah. Mm. And then there's also like the junkyard. Mm. Run by Judy. Oh, mm. that's right. Yeah. But also, okay, yeah. Yeah. there's definitely a hardware store. There's like an Ace Hardware in town, and then also the junkyard. Okay. But Darcy really likes uh, ghosts. If only there was a hardware store for ghost stuff. <laughs> uh huh. That, hmm. Okay, is that's that actually my parents' shop? <laughs> 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 oh my god leon's like i don't to do anything but i did it <laughs> i was asleep and i did it yeah exactly <laughs> you're all welcome oh if, if arwen actually heard that he'd just be so frustrated <laughs> uh all right well, arwen's gonna so he's gonna say bye to Corey and be like all right um just uh I'll be around here around that time, or I'll, I'll give you a call or something, or you give me a, mm, how do we, there's no cell phones. We don't have cell uh, phones. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, 90s. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just come pick you up, okay? When, when you're done. All right. All 
right. Or meet up at uh Nina's. 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 Yes. Yeah. And if if I don't come pick you up, just meet up meet up there. All right. Yeah. All right. Later. And Corey walks into school, suddenly realizing that Corey is wearing yes. dirty clothes, doesn't have his backpack, doesn't have any of his notes, oh. or his homework, or his schoolwork. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gone already. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, no. I set him up for failure. No. Corey's in summer school. Corey has already set himself up for failure. Like this is oh. this is not a new thing. <laughs> oh no! It's probably not even the first time Corey's got to school and been like, "All oh, right." Boss. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure like his summer school teacher at this at this point probably has an extra set of stuff for him just because yeah, just in she, case. There's an extra set of stuff. In theory, it's for anybody, but it's really for Corey. Corey's the only <laughs> one who's needed it. So like, it, there's an extra calculator, an extra book, some paper and things and she's uh mrs alexander is like thanks for joining us today cory you know as cory walks in like barely on time you're welcome <laughs> hands you like the little like packet of like spare uh um spare supplies yeah, and yeah. cory cory will sit down this feels fine <laughs> yeah Starts going in uh, at nine o'clock in the morning about algebra. <sighs> Corey was feeling real good until now. <laughs> That's fine. It's... Just you can hear like a whisper in the wind. Don't forget about boxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so at this point, is Leon awake? Or is Leon, Leon still asleep with the post? Leon wakes up exactly at 2.15. Or 10.15. Wow, okay. I was going to say, dang. He, dang. he <laughs> wakes up exactly at 10.15, takes the post off his sleeping bag. Cool. Balls it up. Puts in the recycling. Um, heads upstairs like, uh, did someone else unwrap all the crystals? Yeah. Uh, you know, somebody was getting his beauty sleep, so um, uh, Arwen and I got most of it done. Well, that's a jab at me. That's fair. Um, mm -hmm. I did say I would do it, but it is done, so am I good to go? There's another box. Yeah, I know. there's always another box. <laughs> is it in that basement that I totally knew about this whole time? Yep. Cool. <laughs> 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 he'll go down there and get it. Um, and while he's like unwrapping the crystals, he'll be like, so you had, mom had like a lot of books last night. What's Yeah, uh, she did. What, what's up? Are we cursed? Did I get us cursed? What's up? Uh, I don't think you got us cursed. Cool. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that's good. And it's like swearing at mm -hmm. bubble wrap that's been packing tape <laughs> to hell. <laughs> You know, like because oh, it's a crystal, it. you can't like cut it because you might break your scissors on the crystal inside. Right, like you got to like be really careful about how you're cutting into the bubble wrap part of it. Mm -hmm. um, so he's he's doing that. Uh, it, no, we're not cursed. Uh, cool. So that that is a for sure thing. The town itself is likely not cursed. Um, hey, this is a great morning so far. Yeah, great morning, right? Um, out the rains even stopped, so you know we're it's looking up here. Uh, not cursed. Mm -hmm. Definitely fey nonsense, though. Your little question of the principal sorted that one out for us. Yeah, cool. Uh, some sort of deal or agreement between the town and the fey for some reason. Yeah, so, you know how the tomatoes here are always, like, really big? Right. Mm-hmm. That's weird, right? Like they're like really, they're like, they're like in the paper. And they also, yeah, and they taste like something. Usually, when tomatoes get that big, they don't taste like anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's that's, but that'd be like a weird deal. They're like, you can have your house here, but give us like just like st stupid big tomatoes. Gonna yeah, be a weird deal. Yeah. And usually, something something like blessing the crops or making them grow better that that's usually 
those kind of deals they don't like that go on forever they don't tend to make lightly so i don't know what they would have gotten in return hmm i'm not too sure either i'll probably keep you updated or i may forget please please keep us updated Um, there's no probably about that statement we'll ask uh well well, we'll, we'll, we'll see about that phone line and we'll see, we'll see what happens. We are not getting you yet another phone line. There is nobody uh, listening. We've told you this before. I, I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I've now accosted two Faye. Leon, I love you. <laughs> Accosting two Faye. If, you, if that is true and you have earned their wrath, a new, fine, a new phone line is not going to fix that. Do we know that for sure? Has someone tried? Yes. Well, <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know if somebody has officially tried. I would doubt it. But knowing what I yes. have experienced about Faye and what I've read and what your mother knows, that's not going to fix the problem. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. I'll take into consideration when I weigh the facts. This is off topic. Do we have any like really cool books on ghosts? We have many cool books on ghosts. What are you looking for? Like the coolest. There's a whole shelf labeled ghosts. Oh uh, yeah, like the coolest book on ghosts that we could part with. Yeah. Okay. He like get gets up, uh, leaving you to continue unpacking the crystals, uh, and goes by the um, uh, the shelf of of ghost books and finds uh, something that is. Uh, it's about, um, uh, it's, it's a local, local history of ghosts kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's not local to Waverly. It's like in Connecticut, but Mm -hmm. it's a really, it's, it's a thick book of, uh, you know, um, whoever those people who did like the investigations on the doll on Annabelle. Yeah. 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 Them. Yeah. yeah, but whose name is escaping me right now? They also, I think they did the Amityville as well, but it's it's like by them of like it's a yeah. um of of ghost investigations. Yeah, cool. Well, put that in the satchel. So like, why do they bubble wrap these crystals so hard? These crystals are really hard, but I don't. They could just mark the box or put like bubble wrap around the box itself. Like, why why is each like and then there's all this empty bubble wrap and i don't understand yeah. no i the it's... amount you're paying in extra weight shipping fees is must be exorbitant mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah it's ridiculous <laughs> but uh it, it means that they come intact you know some of them are a little fragile like and he holds up like a an amethyst cluster that mm-hmm. has like little pieces coming out like um little um prisms like poking out of it and things mm-hmm. It's like, you know, this, this could have broken off in transit. I know the crystal itself is hard, but maybe it's connection to the, the base isn't. But I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you, buddy. This is so much. And then we got to throw it out. And yeah. Don't throw it out. I have an idea. Does it involve somebody jumping on the bubble wrap? Don't throw it out. I have an noises? idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll save this bunch for you. Cool, 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 cool. Um, he'll keep unwrapping crystals until, like, he's told he can be yeah. done. Uh, he'll ask begrudgingly several times to please put on literally any other kind of music. Nope. You're getting stuck <laughs> with a Pure Mode CD on repeat again. <laughs> like, every, like, every fourth crystal, he's like, okay, what if, like... No. Uh, what if I drop the phone line thing? continue we once once a day while i'm working here i get to play whatever i want and i will not bring up the phone line thing for like the rest of the summer what are you gonna play that's not the deal that's not, the, that's not what we're talking no no about. You, you don't understand i hate it too your mother wants to have it on because it's, it's, <laughs> it's epic i hate this so much even the x-files theme gets annoying the remix of the x-files theme just gets too much at times what are you going to replace it with please um i was thinking some biggie smalls 
sure. Anything Rad. better than this. Rad. Literally Rad. anything. Lit. Yeah. And he goes and like switches it to like, do you, do you have a CD or cassette or something like yeah. on you that you could? Yeah. yeah. He goes and swaps it out um, and just like checks down like where your mom is, is doing some inventory stuff in the basement. Like, okay, she hasn't noticed. And then comes back to continue. Nice. So much better. He'll, he'll go back to unwrapping crystals and not bring up the phone line. Excellent. <laughs> um, yeah, he'll he'll do that until I don't know how long it would take him to be done. Uh, yeah, there's just a couple. There's a couple of boxes. Um, Arwen, he and Arwen got one box done. There's there's two more. So it's just yeah. you know, it's kind of like a mindless thing. Yeah, he would um, just fall into the yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there any before you all meet back up at Nina's uh, in the afternoon once school is over? Is there anything anybody wanted to do specifically? Um, while uh, fixing the bike and stuff, want to check in with Grandpa? Yep. Oh. About like when uh, he thinks you know I would fill him in on the other activity that has happened. Including the, uh, the, the question, Leon nonsense, the, the, the Leon <laughs> and the Arwen deal. Oh, right. Le mm. Arwen broke into her office. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I, Cause that's part of the, you know, give and take with us. He, he has <laughs> to learn about all of our chaos in exchange. Your grandfather, as you're, as you're relaying this information and like, you know, it just gets increasingly more chaotic the more that you raise this. He just gets this look on his face. It starts off with sort of like unbelievable, like, oh my, like, I cannot believe Leon did that. Like, oh my gosh. And then it transforms into a little bit of like almost jealousy that he and his buddies back in 48 didn't think to do any of that of like, oh yeah, you young kids get all the fun. Well, well, you're you're a big part of this, Grandpa. There's a lot of stuff we can't do. That you can do. Yeah, like talk to Joe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I have an appointment with him. So sorry, today I will. Do you need a ride or? Yeah, if you don't mind. It's the the, the rain. It's humid and just pretty terrible out, even yeah. though the rain stopped. But yeah, that would be wonderful. Yeah, Thank I got you. Basil here. Pixie. Hey, Basil. They're, they're bike. Hey, hey. bike yeah, what did you do to this? I <laughs> fell into a gravel pit. It was, it was off road. I just did this some off road not... exploration and stuff happened. This is not an off road bike. Yeah, Darcy's picking yeah. Oh, you you like doing that stuff? Oh, put that back. And it brings out some... <laughs> I didn't know you were. Grandpa's just that. sitting there watching a cup of, a cup of coffee, watch watching this happen, just in, in, in awe of the fact that Basil went off-roading without an off-road bike. Yeah. Um, and lived. <laughs> and lived. Yeah, Darcy, lived like, yeah. you, you you wore a helmet, right? Do you wear a oh, helmet? Oh yeah, safety first. Okay, that's cool. Cool. Good. Good. I don't. I don't want to be. What's the helmet look like? If this is what the uh, bike looks like, what's the? I'm just you, you know, curious. Uh, like a normal helmet. Like... Oh, it's it survived. You don't need a new one. Oh, it's wrecked. You need I mean, you drop a helmet once and it's gone, so... Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't I can't build you a helmet, but I, I, I know... I can go grab one. Okay. So, yeah. And then once the bike's done, then, yeah, drop Grandpa off. Okay. It, drop Grandpa off at Mayor's office so that he can mm -hmm. have a very uncomfortable conversation with somebody he doesn't like. Yeah. Um, but he will fill you in on that later um, afterward. Uh, anybody else got something? Yeah. 
All right, cool. So we will fast forward to this afternoon. Um, the humidity from the storm is hanging around pretty uncomfortably because Midwest in the summer as half of us are experiencing. Um, but you all uh, meet up at Nina's quarry. Your shoes have dried out finally. Excellent. Uh, Leon, Leon's on that street fighter uh, cabin for sure. He's, he's there when people get there. Like, all right, like all right. he got down at the shop and went to, he's like, well, time to never lose street fighter again. <laughs> <laughs> Since Corey right. was late, Corey did not actually end up even getting terrible breakfast. So Corey's starving, and Corey needs lots of pizza. Nina's there behind the counter. She, they've got the, um, you know, a couple. There's a cheese pizza, pepperoni, veggie out there, kind of like buffet style, uh, where you can get as many as you want. Uh, there's also a, like a fresh um, pepperoni roll that's just come out of the oven that you can get a slice of. Uh, oh, nice yes. Coke fountain, self serve fountain there. God, I don't want to be. Got, they've got a thing of like so. lunch. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> a thing of lunch. It's like an all you can eat buffet plus a, a drink for like three ninety nine. Oh Coke. man, I like miss the nineties. <laughs> you know, I, I don't. I, I don't know how to adjust back down for inflation, but we'll say that's it. It, it is very reasonably priced. Yeah, Corey's gonna get as much as Corey can afford, which probably probably he's got like four bucks in his pocket. So so yeah, that's what we'll go with the, yeah. the, the special. You, you, yeah, so it's it's like an all you can eat thing. So you can you can chow down. Wait, mm -hmm. no, Corey doesn't even have Corey's clothes on. Nope. Corey has borrowed clothes. Okay, Corey gets up to the counter and just like. Oh yeah. His stomach is oh, rumbling, but he realizes that he doesn't have his clothes so he doesn't have leon, leon look over from the cabinet hey Corey, do you need do you need lunch oh no i'm good hey okay and Corey will come over and, and uh, like, before he like he sits down now before he like gets all the way there Arvin's probably like he's just like you didn't did you have breakfast and then he's like wait did you have money yeah yeah i had breakfast what you have Oh, I don't remember. It was so long ago. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> You're not that forgetful. What do you have? It's food. You don't forget food. I know you. What did you have? I... Come on. And then he just walks over to the counter and he's like, one large meat lover's pizza, please. You got it. She, like, writes the order down and All right. in the back for it to be made. I'll, uh, c can you add one of those... What is it? Garlic knots? You guys have? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Garlic knots, sure. That yeah, and uh, that. Can, yeah. can we also get a picture of? Uh, I forget what is Corey like again. Is it uh, Anything? Coke? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, that was my dog. Yeah, uh, maybe a picture of Dr Pepper and a picture of Coke, please, for the table. Yeah, yeah, you uh, got it. And then he's gonna. How much of that is like maybe like that? That was his like day's pay for sitting at or his yeah. allowance from his parents for sitting at the counter so he's gonna plop that down on the on the counter right yep all right uh can we actually have a do you have any like just older slices of pizza that not really selling or, or anything like that just to, he I, hasn't had yeah, anything I mean, this, all day oh Corey, come here and nina like calls you over she's like a, a short older uh you know second generation Italian immigrant woman um, and like takes the a uh, couple of slices from the pizza that's been out there for a little bit you know it's like the pizza that's been there for a minute underneath the buffet light um, and sets out on a plate she goes here just eat something before your stuff comes out all of you help yourselves to this it was just gonna get tossed as soon as um, as soon as Alfred gets the next batch out anyway don't tell me twice <laughs> I'm like, I, I turned to Cormac Cheers, mate. We just got free food. Corey, Corey <laughs> waits for for Leon to to go for it, but Corey, Corey will. Corey's actively slightly sheepish right now, uh, which mm -hmm. is not a common Corey trait. But Corey will will start eating after Leon does. Oh, yeah. Leon like leaves his game and is like, oh cool, and start he'll start eating. And yeah. 
grab the usual booth and wait for Darcy and yeah. Basil to show up. Yeah, you all, um, Neva's, it's a, it's a popular joint in town, but you all are absolute regulars there. Mm -hmm. um, your, uh, the amount of quarters you have fed into the Street Fighter machine have probably <laughs> paid for the electric bill a couple of times. So, um, you know, Nina doesn't play favorites with her customers, Except but there's nobody does. else in there right now. So, yeah. I like to think there's probably been a time where someone else is sitting in the booth that we see as our booth. She glares. And, Ooh, and we're like, like mm. Hey, this is our booth. And they're like, what do you mean your booth? And we're like, hey, Nina, it's our booth. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. She's uh, she's booth. been there for a while. She she knows you all. You're you know, you're in there playing video games all the time. And again, she doesn't play favorites with her customers, but there's nobody else in there right now. And it doesn't matter that if somebody else was in here with nobody else, she wouldn't have given them free pizza. <laughs> because <laughs> Schrodinger's Pizza. Nobody else is in there to know that. So, <laughs> um, so Darcy, um, of course, you know, like drop Grandpa off. Maybe Mike needs some more pieces. You know, getting getting Basil's bike going. But uh, would the meeting with the mayor, um, like, be done? And like, we can talk to Grandpa before we go over to Nina's. Yeah. Or is it? It's probably like. Um, his appointment with the mayor was in the afternoon. It was supposed to, you know, it was scheduled for an hour because mayors are never on time for things. Um, so it was probably, yeah, it, it, I can say it's over. Yeah. So, oh. Grandpa? Grandpa's sitting on the bench outside the, outside the, uh, you know, town hall. Yeah. Yeah. You know, gets, gets back in the truck. Just, okay. So I still hate Joe. Uh, I I did not expect that to change. Yeah, and he's he's gotten worse for sure, but was able to get some info out of him. I don't think he knew he gave it to me, but he did. So the uh, there's apparently a, uh, a doorway somewhere around here to the Fey Realm. Uh, which is why some stuff kind of, you, you know, you, you've seen it. Like the, the, the flowers and the baskets that grow in winter, it's not supposed to be doing that. Nothing, nothing's supposed to grow in, in winter, but it's there. So that's, that's where some of that is. Um, and I didn't, I couldn't get the details out of him. He was, he was a little reluctant to even tell me what he did, but uh, so there's a door somewhere nearby into the Fey Realm and in exchange for us, the town, making sure that the door stays hidden or that people don't stumble into it. They help out with our crops. Oh, that's it. But then what about the missing what, uh, you're, people? You're not there. You're not there. You're not there. Oh, shoot. Oh, so sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry. You're not I'm there. Not, yeah, you're not there yet. Was, no, yeah, this, yeah. Not there. this is Darcy and Grandpa in the truck. And yeah. I think Basil. Oh, okay. Basil. Sorry, 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 sorry. Basil's in the, Basil. yeah. Just yeah, like Basil's in the back. eating kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, yep. Why, why do they allow them to take a person every time they're here? Because one of their people comes here. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's like a trade. Yeah, so it's even exchange. Mm -hmm. And and our, our people always come back, and their people always go back. But there's there was two the last time. And one of them stayed. Yeah, because she fell in love with Jimmy. Oh. Basil, she stayed for love? That's so cute. That, that is kind of cute. But what happens to our... Because they go into the Fey Realm and they don't remember going there. So what happens to them? Do they do weird things to them? I guess it's like an odd, like X, X Files experiment, but only Fey type. Uh, I, I mean, it might be. I haven't seen any of the X Files. Uh, comes on a little bit late for me, but it uh, it, it might be. I don't know, but um, I think based on what um, you know, 
Joe told me is that it's 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 not like it's not like a prisoner exchange or anything. I mean, they, they whoever it is goes goes willingly and comes back willingly. It's just something has to happen every fifty years that needs them to come here and one of us to go there. Oh, so they don't they don't for so so they don't force the person. I mean, I think they ask they they need somebody to go. Um, but it's not like they come in the middle of the night and kidnap somebody, as far as I understand it. Huh. Okay. Basil, you got any questions? I'm like... Uh, when someone goes away, because someone always does, is there, like, something that happens that kind of gives the indication of that door opening or something i mean it must a storm they, just they know where to go mm -hmm. yeah a storm just happened does that mean that someone has we're expecting someone missing now as opposed to before because we knew prior i think um that no one was missing yet yeah Correct. right mm -hmm. yeah but the storm has just passed and you don't know if anyone has gone missing in that yet and um grandpa grandpa shrugs says yeah. he wouldn't tell me where the door is i think i mean that's part that's part of the deal that he doesn't they don't tell i don't even know that he knew uh but whoever it is it's their decision to go and they obviously keep it a secret because uh, if everybody knew that there was a door to the fey realm around here i'm sure people would be looking for it yeah well. so so it's why you and a couple of your friends kind of get like when you try to mention stuff that's how why you get like made fun of and stuff yep just people like Joe who know about it, they're trying to keep it hidden, I guess. And so it's just, hey, look at Martin and his friends. But we know we're right. And that's what counts. That's what's important. He has this like smug smile on his face at that. <laughs> so, do, does the town want the door? Like, could if we shut the door would would that be bad i think if the door got shut then the deal might be off and our, our you know crops might go back to normal and what you know jackson in the next county what their crops are with their small tomatoes that don't taste like anything but Basil. This like directly affects Basil's like family or like business, correct? Like, because this is like, mm. Mm, crops. <laughs> I mean, it's like the like around here. There's like every like, it's um not like other towns have bad crops or bad harvests. It's just yours is exception. Like Waver Waverly's is exceptional. Um, everybody else has about average normal harvest again you're not like no it's not like other people are having bad times you you would just go back down to average mm -hmm. so do like people like drive to our like farmer's market like whenever we have harvest time mm -hmm. because they know our stuff is like good yep. so mm -hmm. so wait basil your family's stuff is so good yeah Ooh. i mean if the fey aren't doing anything bad and we're getting all this good stuff I know I got I've got a bias there, but um, it doesn't seem like a bad thing. But I guess it's just a matter of how dangerous it really is and stuff, right? But uh, I right, mean, but I'm gonna ask my mom when I get home. She might know something. We've had that place for a while. Yeah. Grandpa's thinking on that for a minute as, as you're driving back. Yes. 
I mean, I don't know how to talk to Faye. Your friend Leon seems to have some thoughts on that matter, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. You might be able to, I, I'm not suggesting you talk to Faye. Your grandmother would kill me if she found out I'd suggested that you talk and try to negotiate with Faye, even though she doesn't believe they exist. So, hey. you know, don't tell Lily. You, if you want to close the, well, what, what if, I don't know. What if they want the door closed? What if, I don't, I don't want there to be, like, is the door open naturally and we're just natural guards of it? Are we keeping the door open and making, like, like, making it stay open? Are they making it stay open? I mean, do they want it closed? I mean, what if they want it closed? I think they would, from what I understand about Faye, which is not much, but enough, I, you know, having it, the fact that they made the deal with us to keep the door protected, they probably don't want it open at all, but they might not be able to close it for some reason. And so they made the deal with us. We'll make your crops grow really well if you make sure nobody stumbles in to our realm. Oh God, with Basil, I wouldn't want... Yeah, maybe we should, should talk to your, your mom. Yeah, I think so. We'll, um... I mean, we'll let everyone else know, see what they're thinking, and then I think I'll... And you guys can come with me, just hang out at the other farm yeah. house. Yeah, um, the others I'll need... The others... Some... Yeah, you gotta fix that drink for all the others. Oh my gosh! I, I think I think even okay. I know Leon would still be like I know I could I could just hear Leon. You know this is no Capri Sun or Ecto Cooler, but it's not bad. <laughs> I, so yeah yeah okay. All right. So are we ready to go to go to Nina's? Drop Grandpa off then. Unless you want to come by with good. Nina's with us, Grandpa. I mean. Oh, I think I think my days of uh, Nina's are, or at least the arcade bit, are are, are long gone. Yeah, but Grandma. Thank you. Yeah, Grandma, and we might give you the pizza lecture again. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be eating a lot of it, so. But if you could bring me back one of those garlic knots, it'd be really good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Take it in. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He gets out. You know. Have have a, have fun with your friends. Be safe. Thanks. Love you. Catch you later. Love you. Bye, Basil. See ya. Okay. Oh boy, Basil. Oh boy. Yeah. You hear him as he wanders off, just muttering of like swearing under his breath about Joe. Like it's just insufferable. <laughs> and like he has it. Oh my god. <laughs> just, oh. That's Grandpa got a lot of good information. He yeah, really he doesn't like Joe at all. No. Yeah. Joe's have we have we ever seen Joe? I have heard. Yeah, I mean you've seen the mayor. Joe exists. I mean Joe is Joe is you've seen him probably wandering around town. Like you know that he's the mayor. Um so but hey, hey, he's nothing. He's nothing special. Yeah, he okay. does he doesn't let you forget he's the mayor. That's mm, uh, he's that kind of guy. Oh, he's a massive toss pot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Someone yes. just took whatever that what? Someone <laughs> Beautiful. She's gonna be like <laughs> A what? A toss pot. <laughs> it's just what you call A you jerk? Know. Yeah. Or... Okay. I, I like that yeah. though. That's that's fun. That's good work. That's fun. Okay. But then we go we'll go to Nina's. And meet up All with right. everyone. Sounds good. Good deal. Oh. I think we're just like, why am I getting this in stereo? And it's because I had the Twitch volume on. Oh. Um so yeah, so <laughs> you, you you go to Nina's, you see uh, in your booth um Leon Leon's playing Street Fighter while there's like a pile of pizza on there and then 
uh, Nina, kind of like as you're walking in, Nina is coming over with a tray of the large meat lovers pizza and the garlic knots um, and the, the pitchers of soda are already there. Everybody's in, in your booth. Oh, good, food. Hey Dice, uh, hey Basil. I'm almost done. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Hey. Um, so uh, before we get started, uh, there's something that uh, we, well, first we want to give you and need to tell you in that order. Uh, so uh, this is a gift from us three to you, Darcy. I, I don't know, I, I feel like you've been trying to take care of us and we haven't really been the best on our end. I mean, we're just trying to do the best we can to help out the situation, but I know that without proper knowledge, we might tread on something or do something that's bad, especially for me, like someone like me, who's only been here in this town for like three years compared to you who's been here for so long. And I know whatever you do and tell us is for, you know, out of the goodness of your heart and what you feel is the best for us and probably know is the best for us. Uh, so this is a gift to you as a thank you and also as a sorry for if we ever put you through anything it's not intentional it's not because we don't disvalue you what you have to say i think it's just we're very impulsive people and we kind of just care for each other so much that we want to do what's best at that moment and I know that sometimes I don't tend to remember your suggestions or your tips or helps helpful hints. Uh, and uh, so here, I just, uh, and basically what I give her is a kind of like a, it looks like a clock, but it's very much a steampunk style with a bunch of gears that are exposed. Uh, it just looks very like kind of rustic, but definitely working, uh, looking kind of like a, a almost like a pocket watch kind of a thing, but not quite. And it has like a couple of like engravings in the, on the back of, of like uh, the river, just like things that Waverly should be known for, I guess. Like does nothing like expensive looking, but definitely like it's something that would catch his eye and be like, I feel like this is something Darcy would like. This is and- Did you get that and, at the Home uh, Depot? Sort of. I, I actually went to the junkyard and I talked to what, what was her name again? Jody? Judy. 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 I sat with Judy and I kind of just talked to her and told her how I wanted to give you a gift, but we wanted to give you a gift and uh, kind of worked together and put this together. Like she had a different, like just the clock, and we kind of was just like, you know, it'd be fun to have a little afternoon project and kind of did this. And uh, yeah, I just thought. Uh, that 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 would uh, you'd like this? Thank thank you. No one's really ever like. I mean, I I do I've tried I've tried I'm trying. Thank we you. And Just... we really appreciate it. And I know how much you care for us. And we never would want to do anything to make you feel like you're not valued or what you have to say is not valued. I think honestly, it's just at this point, what everything is going that we've been going through and everything we've seen is just so new and unprecedented that like, okay. So the reason also I wanted to talk to you is I know you told us to not move or leave our place last night because of the storm. But I think just because how much we care for each other and the situation with everything and unknowingly how things happened, like for example, I think that Corey misunderstood what you said and he thought that you want, he wanted him to make sure I didn't leave, that, leave my uh, motel. He came to check up on me understand and, she told me to make sure that you didn't go anywhere <laughs> right <laughs> and did I didn't you want it. <laughs> and then i started freaking out because of what leon told me 
on the phone about yeah. him <laughs> talking and pretty much calling them out on their BS and calling them fate and directly to the face. So I got scared because I was like, what the hell is, what if they get mad and do something? And in my panic mode, I went over to Leon's, but to my, to, to, to my defense, I was like, he's literally down this, you know, like only like a block away. I can literally get there. And we tried to be safe because I knew that if I went in on my bike, there's a chance that lightning could strike. So I knew that cars are insulated. So I was like, if I go in my car, I should be safe. And I went like five miles per hour. So, you know, just being really slow. I, I know. I, so you went to Leon's who had the protection of his shop and his parents. Yeah. Leon, yes. like, is there, still a street fighter? Like, there are reasons why I know why I, you should stay where you I, need to be. I know, I know. I think, like I said, I just, I panicked at that moment. And you ignored that. Corey? No, what? I'm really wait, confused why wait, anyone is... Cor wait, Corey, you went to Arwen's and you let yeah. him know my concerns and you wanted him to stay at the motel. Oh, I didn't tell him your... I mean, I said that you told me, but I didn't want it to seem weird, so I just went and visited. But I was wet and it was right. confusing. But when you were got there to the motel, you told Arwen all my concerns and about how he needed to stay at the motel. I don't remember exactly what I told him because I was really wet. Arwen. Arwen. <laughs> Arwen is just looking really small right now. He's just like kind of like scrunching. He goes, he, But I'm it was sorry. okay because then we went to go protect <laughs> Leon. And that's no, what we do. No. Corey. 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 Yes. Uh, you don't. Arwen immediately you, you, says, you, "Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Jen. You don't have to. <laughs> Arwen, you, you, you just completely ignored Corey as well. No, Arwen would never ignore me. It's not. I wasn't trying to ignore. I think at that moment I was just. First off, once again, I'm. I'm really sorry. It's not going to happen again." I won't do it again. I think I, after what I saw in the office, after what I saw in the pictures, I started freaking out. And then when Leon told me that uh, he had confronted them, I just, everything went outside of my head. And all I could think about was how two powerful, magical creatures now know that we know, or at least Leon knows. And I. I okay. I, I, honestly, and, it's, no, and it wasn't anything we... about Leon or anybody. I think, like to be honest, at that moment, I if it was you, I would have driven all the way to your place. No, it was Basil, no, I, would have, I, I think no. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just letting you know that that was the state of mind I was in last night, and I know. So you were in the state of mind of panic. ignoring. I just igno no. So I told you to to calm down and to think things rationally. I'm not. I understand I did not tell Corey to stay home. I did direct Corey to make sure to keep you calm and to keep you at the motel. And so Corey, I, I'm, I'm not upset at you at all, Corey. And I, and I did keep him calm. And then we went and we protected Leon. Who did not need protected because he was with two people who, if, if anyone, has parents who could probably kick Faye ass or at least keep them defended. It's Leon's parents. I see I'm really the, confused. Are you I mad see... about something? Buddy, it's, it's, it's me. I, let me, I need to hear this. Okay, it's fine. And I turned to Darcy, I'm like, listen, you have every right to be mad at me. And I'm really sorry. I, like I said, I wasn't in the right state of things. I can't explain, but I can tell you that I won't do it again. And I promise that it's not gonna happen again. Like I said, 
this was nothing about not valuing what you said. Honestly, if it was someone who's been an expert on like a professor of Fay coming down to me and telling me that I've studied Fay folklore and, and their stuff for 30 years and I have a PhD in this, if they'd come and told me any of that, I probably with the state of mind I was in would have ignored, ignored them as well. It's not anything about you or a lack of respect on your knowledge. It was just the state of mind I was in. I, I tried not to panic. I tried not to do anything, but what else right. can you, I say? I, 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 it happened. And your I promise parents it won't let, happen. Your parents let you take the car? I told my mom that I was gonna drive five miles per hour and that's how slow I went. I didn't go past that. I just, it was literally a an extra shell of protection. That's all. Like I literally felt like I was a turtle. I I, I promise you, we were as safe as we could be. And as soon as we went there, we did not leave. We didn't do anything uh, else. We stayed the night there, and just kept each other company. That's all we did. And I I, I honestly I. I'm really sorry, Darcy. Please don't be mad at me. Leon um, gets on a street fighter and walks over. Uh, I missed a lot. I'm sorry. Are we doing the gift thing now? He yeah. just, Leon, I mean, Arvin just looks at Leon. And he just I just, I also Darcy. have a gift. And he, he goes in the satchel and he takes out. Uh, the book he's like this is uh like the coolest ghost book we had in the shop it's by the warrens the people who have that haunted doll um <laughs> it's not about it's not in like slides over darcy it's not about ghosts that are here but i figure i mean if you know a bunch about all the ghosts that are here you may as well like know a lot about all the ghosts everywhere you know um so this is this is my little uh, this is my contribution uh i i kind of freaked everyone out last night by being like i talked to Faye, and then i pretty much just hung up the phone on everybody um i was i i i i was i was riding a mulan high uh i made a lot of rash not best decisions in the last 24 to 48 hours um but I'm all good now. Had some Capri Suns, took my meds. I will be a lot more, uh, I will be, what, what's the word? Not fluid. I'll be more focused, focused. I'll be more focused. I will, I will take in all the information people say to me before I do things like roll up to a face house and knock on the door. Cause what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, guys, guys, I that sleeper we had at Darcy's forgot my meds. My bad. <laughs> I just we're really sorry. Want everyone to listen to each other. And that includes Corey. Corey, you have a voice and you deserve to be heard. I'm heard. No. Oh. You. Corey. I'm really confused. I just... You don't have to please everyone all the time. Leon Corey doesn't know what to do with that and so he <laughs> yeah, puts like, more pizza in his mouth. Yeah, it's like Leon slowly takes a piece of pizza. I'm just gonna take this. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not gonna lie, Arvin at this point is straight up bawling. He's like, I'm, <laughs> I'm so I'm oh, okay, so okay, sorry. Okay, okay, all right, why, all right. Why? Why? Okay, mouth full, okay. but I don't wanna like <laughs> Okay, okay, Arwin. Okay. <laughs> all right. More, yeah. More corn. 
I just feel like he's just like like he's just mumbling on his belt. I just love you guys so much, and I don't want anything to happen to you. And I'm so I don't sorry. Want any, I don't, I don't mean want to think anything to happen to you guys either. And 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 I haven't really made friends in in, in a while. And I just maybe I'm a bad friend. And then but then no. I just <laughs> the don't best want to see you. But then I don't want. I don't want to see any of you hurt. And, and then, um, uh, and then you get, and then I lecture you. You get me this thing, and then I lecture you again, and and then like maybe this is why no one likes me. I go, but I do like you, and I was meant to be lectured. Le I did Le bad. I'm sorry. And it's Leon just like a puts big, his, <laughs> puts a self pity down. fest at this point. Leon puts his slice. I was like, whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> we all love each other, right? What are what are we talking about right now? Sure. Do. We're all friends. We love each other. Did you think that, people right? don't like I I love you, Darcy, and I love you, Arwen, and you, Corey, and you, Baza. Like, I, whoa, we, we listen, we we mess up, but th we're we're like family. It's okay. We're gonna be okay. No, we're all getting through this summer one way or another. I don't care if we got to do it in the Fey realm, but we're we're going. We're gonna have a great summer. Big big big, oh. big swig of Dr Pepper has just occurred. <laughs> 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 I don't really understand why you think that I try to what you said I'd do but I don't think I was trying to please anyone I think I was maybe I was being selfish I don't know Leon said something weird about going to talk to Faye and I was freaked out and I guess I didn't think about your instructions meant for me. I, I guess. I don't know. But I think Arwen's really too hard on himself and shouldn't be crying right now. And you probably should eat some pizza. And I don't think we let Basil talk enough at all. And Leon, you're cool. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Leon is like that's that's they're... Corey's like <laughs> yeah, big yeah. big moment yeah. speech. It's not <laughs> and Leon Trick's like a little like, bit more so... Dr. Pepper, thinking that was like a moment. I don't know. <laughs> Leon just like claps on the back like, yeah, I am cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh Basel, I think at this point, you... like Arwen hears that, he's just like He's calmed down a little bit, but he's now like trying not to laugh because <laughs> it's also like he knows that that was Corey's moment. He understands what he meant, but he was just like, "This is so out of place of what just happened." But okay, and then it, it, and then the next thing he does is he he goes grabs a plate, puts like two slices of pizza, and then offers it to Darcy. He goes, "Yeah, yeah, Basil, friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You you want to tell everybody because." It starts off with what you found out in the office, and then if you want to even take it to like what Grandpa said, that would be, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Leon gets um, out his notebook. <laughs> yeah, Basil goes and buys more pictures of Dr. Pepper and Coke and things, and then like sits down. Um, so, apology pie and fruit basket of sorry. We went into Morgana's house. Um, like we said before, their power outlets and nothing was plugged in. And we managed to walk into the kitchen and I um, saw this little room and I kind of wanted to know what was inside. So a bit reckless of myself as well. Um, dropped an apple and, you know, you have to go get those. So when I went to go get it, um, in that room, there was a bunch of old papers, old books and stuff. And uh, that's where I found the Fae Accords. And it wasn't in like, you know, books or anything. It was like old paper and fancy writing and stuff like that. Like, you know, in those like medieval, like TV shows and things, the stuff that they write on that stuff. It's kind of like that. So the Fae Accords, I've got no idea what that is. Um, then we ollied out of there as fast as we could because we were- I guess it's skateboards. I could have. <laughs> he couldn't help me. <laughs> um, 
not at that time, but uh, maybe next time. But yeah, we got out of there real quick and spoke to Darcy's grandpa, who spoke to the mayor. Mm -hmm. And um, well, after we spoke to the mayor, we found out that, um, well, there might be a door to the Fey realm somewhere here. And um, there's probably a deal between the town and the Fey to uh, protect it and guard it. And that's why we've got such good crops and stuff like that and why all this stuff happens. So, uh, Mention not of... really. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm just, they say that, you know, someone goes missing when one of them comes through here, sort of like a swap. And, uh, well, I'm wondering whether or not the big storm thing has sort of triggered the next series of events or something, but yeah. Have, has anyone gone missing? Have we, have we like, Dar Darcy's or Grandpa know if anyone's not accounted for? I know he knows a lot of people. Not yet. He, uh, he's probably going to be making calls and and like when he went home after the mayor, he's he's making calls and mm -hmm. finding out if somebody, because he, because it's not going to be obvious. Like during his time, it wasn't it wasn't obvious. It wasn't like a a big missing person sort of deal. It seems they go willingly, but they yeah. Um, that, so that seems thing, weird. Yeah. So we don't know if like do they want the door open? Are they? making us keep the door open and guarding it are we making them keeping it open because we get great tomatoes or like do do the fae want the door closed and we're stopping them and then if we close it then we won't have good tomatoes yeah i'm gonna ask my mom about what's going on we've had the farm for a while so we sh might know a little bit more but it's... don't know um did you get to read any of those anything in the paper? Those that Fey Accords? Uh, I don't think I got a good... Yeah, no, I didn't. Nah, I just saw the Fey Accords and Morgana started walking, noticing that we were um, taking our time, so... And, wait, you said had nothing was plugged at the house? Like, things just were unplugged? No, yeah. they had, like, a fridge, but... The fridge wasn't plugged in. They had lamps and stuff like that, and that stuff wasn't plugged in either. Yeah, and, and Grandpa noticed that there's not a proper power line to the place. Yeah, so when the lights are on, it's magic, you know. Magic. Um, so Arvin's like, so you mentioned something about an entrance, right? Like your grandpa said something yeah, about there's so... an entrance nearby. So. Uh, I might have maybe found the entrance. And he pulls out the map and puts it on the table. Huh. And with that, we're going to go to break. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey. So we will pick this up in about 10 minutes with, uh, as Arwen has laid the map down on the table. Uh, with the pizza. We will be back. We're going to take a few minutes. Uh, maybe get some pizza of our own if we have oh, to yes. Oh my I god, so I want need some pizza. right now. <laughs> so badly. <laughs> Teen angst moment. That was so good. Oh, <laughs> that was so oh, good. Was, oh, you know, there my times heart needed that. Like, yeah, yeah. We have to remember playing teenagers. I love everyone in this pizza parlor. Yeah, it's so, so good. we're okay. gonna go to break. Um, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So hang tight, everybody. Go get a snack, drink water, whatever of your own. Um, and we will see you in a few. Guys.
and we are back welcome back everybody uh we have had our break some of us have had pizza some of us have not uh <laughs> how it goes uh we are back with we really summer 98 our bubblegum shoe campaign of uh teen detectives nostalgia summer weirdness supernatural weirdness summer and uh chaos and pizza and this is ostensibly a role-playing game with dice though we have not rolled at all tonight and that's sort of how we've been playing this game but it's fine it's cool everybody's great so we are picking back up in Nina's pizza parlor after there's been some reconciliation, tears, hugs, lots of pizza uh, and, and gifts exchange and uh, Dr. Pepper. And in the discussion about possibly where the location of this bay door is, Arwen has pulled out the photocopies that Leanne's mom made for him this morning of the map in the book. And that's where we pick up. You oh, are muted. I'm muted. I'm back. I was just going to say, like, that was a big slam on the table moment. Yeah. It, it was It was an epic cut to commercial moment. So it was, thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you for giving me that. Leon just kind of looks at it. Um, Arwen, where did you get this? Your mom, actually. She let me make, she made some printouts for me when I asked. Oh, okay. I was Not... I was up earlier than everybody this oh. morning, and I was like, I saw your mom last night just going through everything, and I wanted to know maybe if she found something or kind of look through what she went through, and I found this. That makes sense. Okay. I thought you stole it from Principal Santiago, and I was like, we have a big problem. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> just my mom. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I never thought I'd see Leon get scared, and I just did, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> so if Darcy starts to look at it, is it, can you actually kind of, can she start to like see like Waverly on top? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she's just like, this yeah. is, this is like Waverly, but not. Uh, hey Nina, wow. do you ha do you have any of those old placemats with Waver the Waverly map? Oh the, yeah, um, like one of so those we... kitty drawings with the crayon. Yeah, it's it's like the, it's like the old menus that are plastic, mm -hmm. um, and, and there's just like a Waverly map on the back of it. She she digs one out of the um, a drawer and and hands it to you. People don't tend to use menus too much at Nina's because it's a pizza place and everybody right. knows what they want, so. Yeah, but she gets hands it over to you. Yep. Um. Yeah, Leon's gonna just like, is it like a one to one ratio? Like how it look like? Cause I I didn't I don't, I try not to meddle, so I wasn't like listening too hard when you described the map to Arwen. Is it like yeah. the lines that are this Fey map thing are like the roads for the town now and stuff? Does that make sense? Oh, muted. Yeah. Oh, so I was gonna. Are you are you asking me or Arun? I'm asking either the DM or you. Who okay. Okay. Whoever wants oh, to okay. answer. Okay. Does Darcy yeah. First, yeah, Darcy would start to see, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah. So Darcy Darcy makes this connection. So there's. It's not so much like the like the there's no roads on this map, so there's mm -hmm. nothing like streets aren't gonna line up, but you are able to pinpoint like the specific trees that have been called out yeah. on the map are matched with the big oak trees that are around town the river that kind of flows between some of the trees matches the marks that you all saw on the ground the lake matches kind of the the amorphous blob um that you saw the uh the, one of the markings that's just a little different is absolutely 100% where the farmhouse is in relation to all of these. Um, so it's the streets aren't there, but there are Wait. some landmarks that you can lay out. Okay, I think Leon kind of like looks at that and yeah, see, see, tree, tree. So wait, Darcy, everyone, but Darcy is. Do we think, is it like the town's going to be the, like, go back? Is that the deal? Is the deal so the town doesn't get, 
because there was those burn marks and it's like what used to be here is trying to come back here or something. Or it's... I don't know. It's like maybe every 50 years the the veil gets thin and they have to do something in order to stabilize the maybe. connection. Maybe, the, yeah. Because it seems as though the door is always open. Why would they want a door? Like, it, like would that's you just, want a door open to your precious place all the time? Open. That, that's that's what doesn't make sense. And yeah. why, why, why did Principal Santiago stay? According to Grandpa, she. So apparently, like when they came, she looked like a teenager. Even though she probably was a lot because like Bay, but she yeah. like teenager, so she her teenage looking self fell in love with actual teenage Jimmy. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Uh, there's one thing I think we kind of been forgetting, and I just remembered it myself. But where did the ghosts tie into all of this? Like that's. Corey, Corey's been cocking his head, kind of looking at this thing, and the next thing I was going to say is, uh... So... Is this, like... Some other place where our ghost friends all live? Oh. You know, is... I guess... Where, 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 how, what does, what does, this, what's the correlation between the cemetery and, um where the cemetery is and, and then on the map that Armin brought. There's the the tree uh, that's in the cemetery is there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there's um, there's a, a like a, a bridge drawn, uh, just like a, a bridge over the river between that okay. like kind of that goes between it and the farmhouse. So, so like, wait, is, the, is this is the cemetery the lake in the Fey world, or no? Um, so I I'll, I will send it's you the like, map uh, of the okay. Fey <laughs> world because I actually have it drawn out. Um, it's the 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 lake is uh, the two trees that are the theater and the courthouse is where the lake is because that was the <clears> sort of blob that blobby scorch <laughs> mark. Mm -hmm. um, the river goes uh, by the one that's in the cemetery, the school, the historical society, and the pool. It's kind of like, it's just like a winding river that those are all along. And the fixed points are always just the trees in the farmhouse? Mm-hmm. Yep. They're sort of the ones that are both on the Waverly map and the Yeah, map. there's a few other marks markings on the Fey map. They don't really correspond to anything important in Waverly. Like it's probably somebody's like a how it, it might match up with somebody's house just randomly, but it they don't stand out as landmarks, but the trees and the far and the farmhouse do. Mm -hmm. Aaron looks at it and he's so I've been having a thought on this all day and I could be completely wrong, but from what I see, the trees are like an, maybe like an anchor point between our realm and their realm that kind of keeps them together or keeps things stable or something. And I feel the entrance is somewhere in that farmhouse. And I feel that is like yeah, the way to get in and out. Now, my question is, and I feel, I mean, like after hearing what Basil had to say about, uh, and your, what your grandpa told us about how we have some, maybe a deal with them or something to help us with our crops. What I see out of that is what we benefit from it, but what do they benefit from it? And why do they need to send, like, why send people there? Why do they forget? And or if maybe it's just to protect them, you know, so people won't keep going there and, you know, and something like that. But, and I just, this is me as not Arvind, but asking, uh, do we know that all the people who are coming back as ghosts, they were the ones who were sent to these realms in the past, right? No, you don't. Oh, no, there's, oh, yeah, you don't? There's oh no, okay. No. So my question then becomes, okay, so that's just not a correlation then, never mind. 
uh, but they're, you know, what is what are they benefiting out of this? Outside from coming over into our realms, and even if they want to, why? Why are they helping us? Why are they coming into our realm? Like, what is the what is in it for them? I mean, I I don't I know. Think that. I said that we were protecting the door. Yeah, we keep the door safe, but there's got to be more than that. But the thing is, we well, the, the only people who are keeping the door safe are the ones are who are in the know. And from what I can see, the ones in the know is just the mayor. Like, do we know anybody else aside from that? That I mean, I don't, I don't think so. Hmm. I. So here's what I think. Dazzle brought up the point of the rain maybe being involved with someone going missing. Mm -hmm. Maybe we make sure people are accounted for, and maybe that can give us a place to start because my we all know what my first thought was, which is, well, let's go down to that farmhouse and just ask her. Probably not a great idea. So we won't do that. Unless people think it's a good idea. Uh, not right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Uh, so, because the only thing I can think if someone's going to go missing, I is it random? Is there a reason? I, I don't know. Well, they go willingly, and maybe they get something out of it in return. It's, it's not like they don't remember. They just don't talk about it. So maybe, um, so, um, the person who went it was, was a Cartwright. Do are are they um, Donna? Yeah, daughter Cartwright. Did that family like is that family um, like well off or not like not like obviously rich, but like they don't really need to worry about something? Do they have like a, always had a seat on the council or, or something like that? Always been a judge, you know? Yeah, so the Cartwright family, there's like a thousand of them, for one thing. Um, but th that doesn't just have anything to do with it. It's just like everybody knows at least yeah. two Cartwrights. Like it's, there's always two in the class. Um, the thank you, by the way, Des, for the raid. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, the Cartwright family, there's pretty much always been one um, somewhere in town government, typically in the city council. Actually, yeah, on the city council. Um, quick question. I have a note here that one of the, uh, that a James Cartwright was one of the people that died. Yeah, yep. they, yeah, we, they, they were distant relatives. It wasn't, okay. yeah, okay, it wasn't okay, a yeah. direct correlation. Yeah, James Cartwright was one of the potential ghosts. Um, yeah. Right. It that likely, I mean, they're related to Donna, but likely not in any direct sort of way, just because. You know, every yeah. small town has the family that has a bazillion people in it. Right. Okay. 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 Um, so do we, I mean, I don't know if all of us roll up to Donna and try and talk, talk to, like, I, I don't even, I don't, I mean, I know her, but I don't like know her, you know? How well does grandpa know her? Um, Ask grandpa. Grandpa, grandpa would know her um i think th they're a few years apart so they they, they didn't go quite to school yeah. together or anything like that she's older than him so um she's she's not dead but she's she is up there in age she's older than grandpa oh yeah mm. yeah so because she seems to be the only person we could talk to if she would talk to one of us or your grandpa but i'm not i'm really not sure what else we can do we already investigated these trees i guess we can see if anything's changed after that storm but yeah i talked to yeah. see what grandpa's found out and I'll talk then, to my mom yeah right. and uh, there's one thing that basil mentioned that if and this is, I know it's going to be a big risk. I'm just putting it out there as a possible option, as maybe a last resort sort of a thing. But 
if we really want the complete truth and all the knowledge that we could possibly get, I feel like the best place for this knowledge is that book that Basil said that she saw or they saw inside of uh, inside of the farmhouse. Inside of the farmhouse. The Fey Accords. Yeah. I feel that might have some strong answers. It, it definitely would. I would say if we think we want to break into the farmhouse and try and steal their book, it might be safer to just ask them the, the direct question. Taking okay. stuff, taking stuff from, like, if someone took, like, your family's car, like, you get pretty upset. If we took, like, a fairy princess's, like, constitution, I don't know what would happen to us. <laughs> I, I mean, not yeah. necessarily take, but perhaps I could take pictures of it um, without flash, maybe have it's, enough light that I can just take pictures. I'm breaking. just putting it, I'm just Let's, putting it out oh, there. I hear you. I hear you. We'll put it down. I, I don't think breaking in. I actually, oh, after I talked to grandpa, mm -hmm. uh, Leon, maybe you could, maybe you could come, but. Okay. I think after I talked to Grandpa, we all want to talk, but I actually would like to talk to Principal Santiago. Yes. I think that's fair. I mean, Principal Santiago is kind of. Especially knowing what, yeah. Because Principal Santiago wants to, would want to stay here because she's got kids right. and jimmy and everything so i told her we, i was willing to help her with whatever was happening like i don't like she stayed last time she came but who knows if they'll let her stay this you know like i don't know the rules yeah and the question also becomes there since they're fey i'm assuming especially you consider the records we saw on how often or how long this has been going on i feel like either they're immortal or that their lifespan is much bigger than ours. So even if she has, you know, a family here, I mean, how long would that tie her down? Wait, um, Leon? Yeah. Okay. Time, dimension and time spent. Isn't there something about um, uh, time moving different Different. Mm. <laughs> Leon starts like making a diagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if we're talk So there's this, there was this one episode. Um. So if you're on a different plane than our plane, time may not necessarily move parallel. It could be going backwards or forwards or, or up or down. It could be going <laughs> nowhere. And so she could, like, she's been here for fifty years, but she could go back to the fair realm, and it's been a day. Or it could be yesterday, or she could go back there and come back here and be a teenager. Like, we don't, who knows what could be happening to them over there. We could go there and be like six again. Oh my God, I think all we're doing is giving Sarah ideas, guys. Okay, the more we're talking, the more she's like, yes, give it to me. Corey. We'll go into the fair room and we're four years old. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Corey? What do you think we should be doing? I think this is... I don't know. Like, kind of... It just... All of this information is now just kind of suddenly making me feel really small, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. No, I mean, it's, uh, the world just got a lot bigger. I mean, we've all been here for a bit and, like, we've either heard about the ghosts or... I mean, Darcy tells us about the ghosts, and we accepted that, and, you know, that means other things could be real, but a whole different plane of existence, that's, I, I, I get what you mean, but 
like I said earlier, you're we all have some kind of role to play in this. And I don't know what that is yet, but I know I know I watch a lot of TV and I read a lot of comics and I watch a lot of movies and I read a lot of books. But I don't know, guys. I, I feel like there's a reason that we're all sitting at this booth and not doing something else this summer. So that goes for you too, Corey. You're, you got have, you have a role to play in this. I just don't know what it is. I don't know what mine is. So I, I'm not saying I don't feel small. I'm saying if we all feel small, then we're pretty average height. You're so smart. Cool. That's 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 two that's two two points for Corey today. <laughs> I didn't know I was working for for uh, Leon points. Yeah, <laughs> most taken, valuable currency. I would have taken yeah. a very different tactic with this character. <laughs> you see a little score. You see it like you see like. Corey, Arwen, <laughs> Darcy, Basil, <laughs> two little marks under Corey. I'm just all I'm imagining is the concerned GIF with all of the different characters just going <laughs> concerned. Yeah. Um, okay. And then, oh, and finally, I think Arwen is going to say one last thing on his part, and he's going to be like, "I think one more thing we need to consider is if before what we want to do." do we even want to do anything because i mean clearly there seems to be some sort of a beneficial system going on here where the fae get something we get something we haven't you know ascertained whether or not there's any negative thing going on here and if it's been going on long enough and the town's prospering and i know you know basil's family's prospering because of this do, do we want to do something about it? Like, what are we gonna gain by investigating further about this is my question. I want to know. I don't know if we do anything. I mean, you know, Darcy brought up a really good point when this all started. Like if something's disrupting the ghosts and harming them, like they have a life of sorts that they're trying to have now and that's not right and I do worry about Principal Santiago and her family. Like, I don't know what's going to happen at the end of this mm -hmm. stint of things, if they'll be here still or if they'll be okay. But I, I know, I want to know what's going on in my town. I don't know if I'll do anything about it, but I want to know. I can't, I, I just can't go back to a normal summer and not know why they're here and what they're doing because remember we were at my mom's shop earlier this week and we said you know ghosts maybe Faye and she looked at us all in the eye and I've never my mom doesn't get upset as you all witness my constant badgering for the most asinine things but she looked worried you don't make deals with Faye, and if someone made a deal with Faye on behalf of the town, even if we're like getting good tomatoes, there's something there's something we're losing that we just don't realize it. And you could say, then what's the big deal? But I don't know. I so my vote is I'd like to know, and he like puts his pin down in his notebook. I I want to make sure that. No one's being forced. This is a mutually agreed upon, mutually beneficial. No one really is not getting hurt. No one's, but if we're forcing the Fae to keep a door open, or if they're forcing us to keep a door open, I kind of feel like we're forcing the Fae to do something. But I don't, I don't want that. That, that's something that I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, that's I want to know as well. I want to know as well. I mean, it's my family and 
my farm that's kind of affected by this and the crops and stuff but if it means something else if there's something terrible going on in the back I kind of don't want that to happen and um I mean we'll still grow stuff for sure but if it's at the cost of some terrible things happening I don't think that I'd want that or my mum would want that anyway so I want to get to the bottom of it just to figure all that stuff out make sure everything's fine and like Leon said I want to find out I can't really you know keep ignoring everything and just ride my bike around and like do deliveries every day in summer knowing that this stuff is happening so yeah what about you Corey do you, you still want to know you still want to what do you think I think I think I'm really lucky to get to hang out with you all because I don't have a lot to contribute to this. And that's when Arwen just kind of punches him on the shoulder and he goes, stop that. Yeah, stop that. You have I was, been. I was going somewhere good with it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Gut reaction. That's Go pretty, ahead. That's pretty good, though. <laughs> you, yeah. That almost hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Definitely forgot all the good parts, though. All right. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, so you're all really smart you're good at stuff and if this means this much to you all of course I'm going to keep hanging out with you and help figure it out as best as I can because if it's important to you all then it's got to be the right thing to do. Yeah. Arwen, yeah. you still in? Yeah, I'm, I'm in. I think even though I guess I don't have as much, I guess, stake in all of this, mainly because my family, I don't know if they, I mean, at least I don't see how the Faye's involvement affects my family, but it affects you guys and your family and you're just as important to me. And if there's something that's going to cause harm to you guys, I'm going to be a part. I'm going to make sure that I, wish I do my part in stopping that from happening. So if you guys, if you guys weren't all into it, then I'm into it. it um, so I just, I just thought about something. So Darcy, you know how anytime we try and talk to people about the ghosts in Waverly, people like don't want to talk about it? It's part of, according to Grandpa, it's part of the deal. Um, okay. So the reason why like my grandpa and his friends kind of get made fun of is because, you know, you, you try to know the truth, you try to figure it out, and then you're labeled as weird. And the oddballs and things like that. And yeah, so I think, yeah, I'll talk to Grandpa. Baz is gonna to talk to, I think, I think we leave Principal Santiago alone today. Um, maybe I can, I don't know, brainstorm with Grandpa or Grandma about how to, cause, cause Grandpa knows Jimmy, right? Yeah, Grandpa. Grandpa knows, yep. knows Jimmy. So maybe, maybe we can. Uh, maybe there's like a a, a way to, uh, you know, kind of get them over or something, or make it. You know, it's a friendly get together. It's a thing. It's a whatever. Do. 
Would we know if anyone in town babysits their kids? You would, you would imagine that there is somebody, you would, yeah, you, you would, the town's small enough that you have an idea of at least who essentially is the main babysitting group of people. Um, I don't, I don't think you'd know exactly who, but you would have a handful Corey. of names that you would. Corey, do you know? Do you know, like every other person in school? I'm looking to see if there's, 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 I feel like there was a, a skill that was like connections or something, or am I thinking of pills? From oh, me? yeah. Um, really hope it's not her. <laughs> nope. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm not looking at my character sheet anymore. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I used to sometimes hang out with Susan when she was babysitting. Yeah. But I don't think I should call her. Yeah, we we we've, we've established this. You're not. We're not gonna. Oh God, why her? I, well, it, I mean, I don't know, Corey. If you're willing. No, that's awful. I, I was about to ask you something awful. That's no, no. It's okay. I'll do it. So, Corey, if it's like, <laughs> if, if like you could, if you think you can like emotionally handle it, I don't know. It could be very vital to what we're doing here. No, 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 yeah, no. We're he can not. say, hey, he can say no. I could, no. Uh, I can call her. It's not gonna. Fine. You sure? Well, she'll pick up for you. She won't for me. Because there's caller ID, right? There's, is there caller oh, ID? They yet? definitely have caller ID. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she, she definitely it's, does. It's around and she definitely yeah, does. She specifically sure. would. And, and you know, if you just ask her like two questions, she'll ramble on. I just don't want him to be sucked in. You, We know, know. how she's like. We know. And I Well well what if you were there with him to keep him like grounded, coaching him or something? Oh like, we, I, we, Don't we, get me we, wrong. We, I, I I Corey is or very best. much capable of hand, handling himself. I mean this is not me trying to baby him or or, or I, put him on the spot. I just don't it's it's not about Corey, it's about her. It's who she is as a person. Yes, and sometimes we need emotional support, Corey. Do you want, like Corey okay. has been like, you know, do try uh, because they're just talking sorry. about him like he's not there. Sorry. And so eventually Corey, he oh. eventually Corey. he just stops and he just looks at Leon and Basil just kind of like oh, Sorry, no. Corey. Corey. It's like that mom and dad yeah, moment where oh, the child doesn't have yeah, anything what? to get to say yeah. in it. What do you what would you like to do? I had an awful thought and what would you like to do? You don't have to do anything you don't want to. What I think I'm getting from that <laughs> was you don't think I should call her because you think I'm going to get sick. I just know what she has done to you and I know what you've been through. And only if you are ready to confront it, or at least is not are not going to be affected by it again. That's that's my only concern. As a friend, I saw what being in a, being with her was like to you. Sure. And that's all. That's that's the only only thing I have. And if you think you are ready to face that without going through all of that again. And it's on you, mate. It's well, it's I'm I'm here for you. She dumped me because I I don't actually even really know. It was a lot of very complicated reasons she gave me. She's a vapid beast of a sorry, and then Arvin just goes on a rant. The point is 
that. Yeah, I was really sad for a really long time. Because I kind of thought that she, you know, like, liked me a lot. And maybe even loved me or whatever. Whatever. And so I was sad because I was like, wow. That's not gonna happen again. But... I don't know. You all seem to like me. And that's good. Listen, man. Let's, like, hunt down some day. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Uh, hey, so, uh, can, can we use your phone? To the people. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right now, all right. Oh, God. Right, uh, yeah. Nina, I mean, you're, you're still the only ones in there. Yeah. And then Nina calls one of the guys, like, yeah, you can use the phone. It's local. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah. It's like one of those like it's it's a it's a 90s phone with a spiral cord that's a little bit tangled and like it's not quite rotary, <laughs> okay. but the, the, cord, the spiral cord on it is like tangled up. It got like out of whack, you know, how those do like tied in a bit of a knot and thing on the wall. Yeah. Corey's gonna call Susan. <gasps> From the pizza okay. shop. Uh. From the pizza I'm shop. So yeah. happy and scared at the same time. <laughs> and I'm gonna you have and a, me both, buddy. A sharpie and a napkin. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, phone rings a few times. Hello. Hey. Uh. Hi. Who is this? It's Corey. Oh, hi, Corey. I have a homework assignment. <laughs> uh, why are you, why are you calling from the pizza place? I'm with a group, oh, wow. a study group. Anyway, we're researching babysitting rates in Waverly, and we want to know if you know the rates for babysitting. Like the rich people. And I'm like, and who's paying what? Or if you know, next or if you know who would know that. This is a weird topic, but I okay, I guess. It's a class of um budgeting. Economics. Economics. Nice one. Okay, I thought you were didn't know you needed to take that in summer school, but I mean, I guess, okay. Well, well you know, it, it depends on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Lay down. Ooh. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> Corey, like, slaps his hand over his mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, just like. Just Are we like just, just watching this conversation? <laughs> you're, like, you're, 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 seeing, this you're seeing and hearing Corey's half of it. Like, yeah. there's no speakerphone situation happening. I just um, imagine everybody else going like this, and Arvin just like, yes, give it to her. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah it's definitely just pensive. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know, just, just like an example. Like, I don't know who's rich people. Like, the mayor's kids. Who, who babysits the mayor's kids? Do you know? Uh, Ashley's babysits the mayor's kids. Um, I, he's a jerk, so I don't babysit his kids. He's just rude and he doesn't tip, so. Um, but yeah, so she babysits his kids. Um, I usually get about, like, I don't like four to five dollars an hour, depending on who it is. What about, like, I don't know. Oh, what's another job? Uh, the principal. Principal's kids. Oh, she tips really well. I And her <laughs> kids are really nice and she gets cable. So I really like hanging out there. Uh, so it's not any, it's not any effort at all. And I can just hang out and watch, you know, like she gets HBO and all of those without just having to do like the free week, you know, like, but 
Is she tips super well? It's five bucks an hour with her. And then she tends to tip on top of that. And so she's, she's great. All right. I'll call you back if I have more questions on this topic. Thank you. Bye. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, what, what, we, what do we got big guy? All right. Yeah. She babysits the, the Santiago's kids. And, yeah. All right. And Leon puts it up. Babysit. She makes $5 an hour. I wonder Holy how hard shit. babysitting is. Huh. <laughs> Why am I not a babysitter? I, I freaking babysit my kid, my kid sister all the time. I take, I get jack squat. Oh, okay, I after so after ripped. after we figure out this whole like fake takeover town thing, I think we start like a babysitting company. Oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, the future. Yeah. This whole this whole show is just the, <laughs> maybe like a the club for the babysitters club. <laughs> <laughs> Catch us next season. <laughs> <laughs> Faye children, how, what did they eat? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, All right, Corey nice. sits back down and just stress eats another piece of pizza. That was fine. You did amazing. Cool. That was Sweet awesome. Good job. Way to put her, way to, nice. I'm assuming she wanted to know what your schedule was? What was that about? I forgot. Whatever yeah. it was, nice response. So, okay, so she babysits the Santiago kids. Question is and when? Leon, Leon kind of looks on the table. I guess if you want to, like, interrogate's a very strong word for what we're doing. If you want to talk to her more, me and Basil is the safest bet. Yeah, you don't want me alone. I said yeah. I have a study group. Yeah. And then we might come I... back with more questions. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. About and I know sitting. Yeah, I would like to be there. I know some town stuff. Okay, okay. And um, if it's a thing, if it's a thing, Grandpa, if 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 Grandpa might have to or, be there. If it's a thing. Or yeah. or one of you go to the principal and say, I know you have to pay your babysitter $5 an hour. We'll do it for four. Corey, you're a I'll do, I'll run this like, man. High, high five. <laughs> He's just like immediately, Arwen's like puts out a high five. And he goes, I will undercut that. I'm not going to say the word, but I will undercut. I will do this for you. I will do this. <laughs> He's just like vengeful. It's just coming out right now. It's so hardcore. Have any of us not weirded her out lately though i'm out <laughs> that's why i'm thinking uh, i haven't yeah. i haven't actually weirded her out and right. I'm, I'm really I think you and basil haven't had any interaction with her that's true hey, no i just yeah, had the basil. tour around around the yeah. school and then it kind of right. looks at darcy and it sounds like she really likes that job Take it away. <laughs> oh, really? Bring her down. There's like cable and stuff. Cable? I have she has cable? cable but... <laughs> hey. Arvin just starts eating like pizza sadly. Freaking antennas. Local <laughs> channels never Wait. work. I heard you ask her a question about the mayor too. That's to throw her off, yeah. Did, but it, did you find something out about the mayor though? Girl, Ashley babysits for him. Oh, okay. I mean, that, and I guess he's could... a jerk. I mean, that that tracks. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. tip well. That also tracks. <laughs> so I mean, those are two, those are two great sources of information because babysitters know everything about that house. Because babysitters watch the kids. Yeah. Kids could... know everything, and kids don't know what not to tell you. Yes. So that's, this is, this is great. So just to make sure I know, again, I wanna kind of stay focused with everybody, do my best. Darcy, you're gonna, you want me to come with you and see if your grandpa found out if anyone's gone missing. If you wanted to come with, sure. 
I can definitely do that. It will keep me out of trouble. Okay. <laughs> then, um, then maybe Grandpa can invite those two out somewhere and then offer Darcy to be like, you know, oh, she'll do it for, for three or four dollars instead of that outrageous five or something. Like <laughs> offer, offer, you know, uh, you know, I have have him do that. And That's, then yeah. And then yeah. And then Basil, you want to talk to your mom? Yep. Do you okay. want me to talk to Nina about, like, you know, if there's anything nice that they can do, there's like a dinner thing that your grandpa could take them over there? Because Nina's like, we'll see. It's like the or, restaurant person. Ooh, or it might have to be a country club thing. <sighs> well, I could ask Nina if you need um, anything yes. from the country yeah. club. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be believable. Wait. Grandpa would know. Grandma might know. And then if we want, like if we want to hit this babysitter angle to one, have one of us get in the house, but two, someone wants to talk to one of the babysitters, like we, Ashley, I don't, I don't think any of us here have any kind of beef with Ashley where she wouldn't talk to any of us, right? No. I mean, Corey, you could go go throw some charm Ashley's way, see what you can find out. Corey looks up, thinks about this. Sure. Does Corey Darren. know Ashley, really? <laughs> Ashley um, is, is Ashley she's, the, she's ice, the cream ice cream. Oh. She's the ice cream girl, yeah. Right. Great. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Corey's like, oh, <laughs> the ice cream girl. <laughs> yeah, she, she's slinging ice cream this summer at, and babysitting occasionally. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, none of you have any beef with her. She's 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 again like kind of like a tear down of popular kids. Mm -hmm. So, but she's she's super nice. She's anytime she's talked to you, she's been super helpful and you know nice and gave Corey some free ice cream so um Arwen what are you do you have any ideas or something you want to do or you want to go with one of us on one of these field trips um probably not the one to confront sir uh what's her name again I'm so sorry I'm blanking her name Susan Susan yeah we're definitely not the one to confront her no uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're not we're not doing yeah. yeah uh i don't think like you said prince the one to babysit principal santiago's kids that mission is just because i've interacted with her so honestly like whatever you guys need me at this point i don't think i have any specific location that i would be best suited for unless you need someone who can take pictures i mean pictures are always just, good right i mean the one thing i was thinking of is maybe i could be the one to track the farmhouse because like I said, from my observation, and I only have two sets of photos, so I'm not sure if that is the case, but like I said, compared to the first original set to what we have now, or the second shot I took, the two farmhouses are definitely getting closer. The two images are lining up. I just don't know how quickly that's happening. Oh, I, so if you wanted to come by, I can, you get good views from my side. Yeah. Uh, definitely i think that would yeah. be the best course but i want to i think i need to be the I, I need to start keeping track of that excuse me uh just to see how quickly those are aligning because that might give us an idea of how much time we have the other thing and i can't believe i'm saying this is i want to go back to the graveyard again i think do you, do you want help or do you think you can handle one on your own I mean, if you guys, whoever's free, I'd love to have you by with me. Definitely the graveyard. <laughs> I'm not going there by myself. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's near the ice cream parlor. It's near the ice cream place. So maybe uh, I'll go with you, buddy. Corey, if you... Awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> uh, so 
I want to see if we have any more ghost sightings. And um, obviously the last time we met them, at least the one we'd met wasn't belligerent or, or vindictive of any sort. So maybe hopefully we can chat with some of them, find out a bit more of the history of the town. Maybe they know something about this at all and they might give us information. I don't know. I'm just shooting in the dark here, but I, it's worth a shot, I feel. I mean, if you want to like talk to a ghost, you could. My dad probably has some seance stuff you can use. Or that is a better idea, and I don't have to go to a graveyard. Oh, I mean, you should probably still go to the hmm. graveyard to use it. It just it'll yes. help instead of shouting in the dark. Uh, as you see, like Arwen initially, like he's kind of scared about saying about this stuff, and then perking up at the fact that he doesn't have to go, and then you just dashing that hope immediately. <laughs> um. But yes, okay, so that I think should be the course I should take. At least I, I feel like I should be the timekeeper in this because I, I feel like I can. I think that's a good, do you have an, can we get you an instant camera from somewhere so you don't have to always go back to the school and like, I don't I know if an instant camera would work the same. Like, have the same like a Polaroid? Yeah. Would probably, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't matter if it's a camera, it's just like the matter of capturing something on film and I don't see, because it's, it's essentially the same thing. It's just film, but I don't know, maybe the instant factor. What if we might tried to happen. videotape it? I had not even had that thought cross my mind. That is, hmm. Do you think that the photo place will let you like rent a video camera? Oh, maybe, well, definitely not to a bunch of teenagers. I don't think we, maybe, maybe, I don't know. The I can radio maybe, shack might. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I maybe at the Radio Shack, I have some connections there. I could maybe talk to the manager or, or the, one of the store clerks, and maybe I can swing something in that sense. But the fact is, well, that is a bit more interesting, actually. We wouldn't then, have... I, I just think of, if you can video it, we, we might be able to see what's happening instead of a still image. We might see something, something new. And this is the start of Arwen, the, the director. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, let's, let's do that. I think that sounds like a smart idea. I could talk to them and find out something. Um, okay. Okay, we got a plan. When do we just, do we meet up? When, I just, I, I don't want to fly off the handle again. Uh, I got, I, I got, I got my, I, he like takes out like one of the pill things. I, I have these on me now, okay. but I just want to make sure. So we're going to do this and then we're going to meet up. Or how about, this has got a lot of talk and traveling. How about, do you think we could like, I know Le Le Leon and I have the ability to do party lines. So like, do we want to do like a, a seven o'clock or eight o'clock call? And, okay. and then party call and then share everything. I, I mean, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, All right. Roll hey. out Autobots. <laughs> yeah. Leon, Leon says that. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Oh, um, uh, okay. Uh, at this point, a couple of other people walk in, teenagers like yourselves, you recognize, uh, Leon, I mean, you recognize everybody, uh, it's a small town, but uh, Sean is one of them who wanders in, Leon. Oh, hey, Sean, what's up? How's it going? Hey, he looks a little bummed, but... Uh, bad day at the pool? Did a kid almost drown? <sighs> no, but all of our stuff keeps moving around, and also my dad's out of town like it's talking about my mom's cooking run that by me again he takes out his notebook so he, sean gives you a weird like he he's about to give you a weird look but then he's like all right it's leon this is normal uh <laughs> so he goes yeah there's like all of our crap kids keeps getting moved around in the pool like all the, all the lifeguard stuff like it just keeps moving mm -hmm. around and i've been mm -hmm. we've been looking for the for like the backup first aid kit for two days and can't find it we know it's there but you know we gotta do it for safety stuff um when did it go missing a couple days ago 
And your dad left out at these. Where's your dad at? You said he's. I didn't know your dad had a trip this summer. He, neither did I. He's apparently at a conference. Uh huh. So yeah, and my mom's cooking. She's. You've had her cooking. It's really bad. It's it's like okay, dude. Um, no, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. What's your dad's? When did your dad leave for this conference? Uh, he, he left last night. During that storm? He, he like it, there was a break in it, and he he bounced out of that. He had to like catch a plane, you know, so he had to. Oh, did he make sure he made it? Okay, like that storm was really gnarly. Yeah, mom said it got, he got there okay. Your mom told you that. Mm hmm. I mean, I was at the pool all day, so I, right, I mean, right, right, yeah. Right. What's okay? Uh, and the stuff. Do you guys have like cameras at the pool? No. Right. Well, I mean, we have them. They don't work. Yeah, they're like for show. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's probably <laughs> they're actually even like connected to anything. Yeah. I mean, it's probably like the seniors. Like, I guess you're a senior now. Whoa, you're a senior now. Yeah, I'm a senior now. That's terrifying. Let's not talk about that. You know, it's probably your classmates, I guess, messing with you because you're a senior now. Oh, it's definitely them screwing with me, I'm sure. But it's a safety thing. I mean, we've got first aid kits, we've got everything, but we've got backups of backups that we yeah. need to, like, you know, account for. And it's just, they just saying you need to put it back. Hey. And, uh, yeah, the, there's um, one of the other uh, people with them. Um, you know her. She's Amanda. Uh, she's also a lifeguard, also a senior. Mm -hmm. she's like, yeah, if, like it's not me. It's not my friends. So whoever's and she like speaks up a little bit louder, like kind of like doing the like, yeah, it would really suck if somebody put our stuff back. Kind of thing. Leon like, looks around that it being months. them and his group of people. He's like, yeah, that would no, that wouldn't suck. Why do you? Oh, you're like, okay. It's like a joke. Yeah. Hey, Leon. Hey, so is the pool closed now? Uh, no, our shift's just over. When does the... We had, like, the... Do you guys have, like, keys morning. to get in at night? Yeah. He kind of looks at everybody. Hey, Sean, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> Uh, well, I was gonna sit, you know, watch a couple episodes of Buffy, but I, your, the tone of your voice tells me I'm possibly gonna be doing something else. Let's catch a pool thief. I like the way you think. Uh, you said, how long is your dad gonna be out of town? I don't know. Maybe a week? I, I wasn't really paying attention, honestly. I was running late. And when mom said that, you know, he was gone for a conference, I was like shoveling granola bar in my mouth as I was running out the door. Well, maybe like you know, we don't have a ton to do. We could I could come over for dinner, maybe help your mom out with the cooking, you know? Please God, please help her out, man. <laughs> and we could go catch She a burned pasta. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a pot of water. Yeah. <laughs> Corey. Okay, wait. We'll get back to be. that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, just let, let him be. <laughs> I, I mean, it's really you know, easy to burn everything. I set fire to a pop tart once. You set fire? Uh, so have I. Yeah, yeah, that was an Are incident. You set fire to Wait, how many? No, no, no. Wait, I get, I just, we'll get back to that. Too, I, I, he turns to Leon and goes, "Too many. Trust me." Okay, just let it go. I did. I did have some plans, but if it's cool for everyone here, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna do this tonight, and I'll I'll be with Sean, and Sean Sean I mean, knows to keep me yeah. keep me focused, dude. I I have everything. You got just, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. So, yeah, and then Arwen and Corey, did you want to do that thing together? Yeah, I mean, if we want to do it tonight, but if we want to do what we 
said how how Leon suggested it, we might need Leon's dad's help. So maybe we need to go talk to him first. He'll oh, chat with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so we'll no, I mean, like, this is a real just... weird conversation you guys are talking around. I'm gonna go get pizza. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. Summer project. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love so... my little son. Uh, so this everything scene... we have, we just the excuse yeah. is just homework. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how about how about we do our party call? Corey, do you have school tomorrow? Nope. Okay. So this is going to be a night thing. I mean, do we want to do a party call at like midnight or do we want to do a party call in the morning? Midnight works to me. I mean, I don't, I don't yeah. get up until 10 the next anyway. Basil, um, I know you get up though. Basil, it's all right. Up. You do be getting up. I do. I, I, it's, it's all good. I'll, um, I'll have an, a cheeky nap in the middle of the day or something. If cheeky I need nap. It. Oh, I love it. Basil, okay. I don't say this enough. I love the way you talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh thanks yeah I think i'm gonna have all, a we, cheeky little nap now and then we all have to go over to their house because she makes this dinosaur drink it's amazing milo dinosaurs <gasps> immediately I would, have one. i would just like oh my god you have milo where did you get milo australia five cans uh, had that in so long okay we're going all right so we have plan okay uh, and then I guess now Transformers roll out? Yeah. Almost, but yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Nice. And on that little thumbs up uh, of the Transformers roll out, we will wrap for tonight oh, and pick oh. up next week with. Uh, Cool stakeouts, possible babysitting shenanigans. I don't know. Tune in. We'll find out. Corey maybe getting his flirt on. Yeah. Uh, yes. Corey, getting, Corey his getting his flirt on. It's probably not yes. pretty. Yes. <laughs> Ashley's just going to sit there like hard eyes. It's going to be fine. <laughs> uh, so uh, thank you, uh, chat, for hanging around. Thank you, Jessica, again for the raid. Really appreciate it. And we're going to do outros. So uh, say who you are, where people can find you. If you've got something coming up in the next week before we're back on that you want to plug, go for it. Uh, and we will start, we'll go the opposite direction. We're going to start with Austin. Uh, hey, everybody. My name's Austin. I just got done playing Leon. My pronouns are he, him. You can find me on Twitter at Sailor Scout Austin. That's uh, Sailor SCT Austin. Um, because spelling out Scout was too long for Twitter. Uh, the main thing, the only thing I really have to plug that I do is I have a podcast, Secret Histories of Nerd Mysteries. You can find us on everywhere you get podcasts except Apple Podcasts app, so, uh, sadly. Um, we post every Monday. So this upcoming Monday, our episode is on Avatar The Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Uh, so tune in for that. Our last episode was on Space Jam. That's still up there. And we have... 11 other great episodes for you to listen to at your leisure. Uh, but you can catch me there and you can catch me on Twitter. Awesome. And to Wasa. Hey guys, Wasa, they, them. I just got done playing Basil, who is also a they, them. Uh, you can find me on Wasagi91 on Twitter and freelance writing. So the things that I'm doing at the moment are um, part of the Omens Rising team. So a really cool like card-based system that we're trying out currently doing play tests if you're interested in doing one of those and i was one of the writers for sina una which is uh getting published by hit point press if you want to check that out too cool awesome and uh to kp hey everybody i'm kp uh also known as kp 11 photos on twitter twitch instagram I'm primarily a photographer who does portrait and cosplay photography. Uh, I don't have a lot of that going on right now, but uh, to compensate, I'm actually currently doing a bunch of uh, editing services. So if you have any photos that you want edited in my style, hit me up. Uh, I can, we can talk. 
aside from that, uh, and aside from this lovely, lovely show that just fills my heart up every Saturday, uh, I actually also have my own Twitch channel where I do two shows right now, one every Tuesday at five or 7 p.m. Pacific time where uh, it's with my dad, it's called KP Storytime, and we sit down with him as he narrates a bunch of uh, you know, mythology, Hindu mythology, and gives a bit of more context and explanation that you might not get if you were to uh, read it on your, on your own. And then every Saturday, maybe shifting over to every other Saturday now, uh, is, I have a cooking show. Uh, we just did episode two to this morning at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, and today we made, uh, why am I blanking the name of what we made? Oh, uh, bread pakoda. Bread pakoda is essentially just fried bread in batter, Yum. but stuffed with, uh, you know, spiced potatoes and things like that. And then the last uh, episode we made uh, paradas, which is like flatbread with stuffing inside of it. We do a lot of stuffed stuff, I realize now. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys like, Indian cooking or like to learn more about Indian mythology, check out my channel. Uh, and then on top of that, finally, uh, tomorrow I have a Call of Cthulhu one shot on the Terrible Party channel. Uh, I'm super excited because it's my first time playing. So please don't, uh, you know, if I mess up, I apologize. But if you're into Call of Cthulhu related stuff or any of the existential horror related genre do come check us out tomorrow it's 11 a.m eastern so 8 a.m pacific time and yeah that's me existential horror is a theme for you lately all right <laughs> i love it oh it's great so good and uh michelle hi i'm michelle i just played darcy i'm on twitter at shell underscore game i am Sort of swamped with work right now so i'm sort of like you know pop up every once in a while but not so much right now so i really don't have a lot of stuff going on right now um i do want to say that i'm really glad i am we are comfortable enough with each other to have a teen angst moment oh that yes. you know in the whole like we're you know we're we're family friendship is everything we we argue we mess up and then we give each other a clock and we're all good like we hug and you know we cry we hug we gave each other a <laughs> clock and a good book, book on ghost and and we're all like good and stuff so i'm just really glad i'm comfortable enough with all of you to have like that really realistic teen angst moment like, it's just face it you know like it's yeah and then we had yeah we had the friendship is everything so yeah and uh, finally to Ren. Hello, hello. I'm Ren. I'm at Atomic Firebird on Twitter. I was just playing Corey. Yeah, that all happened. Um, I have my <laughs> own Twitch channel. It is twitch.tv slash make underscore believe underscore. And I do a weekly interview show for LARPers and TTRPG nerds, and we just started our second season, and so I kicked it off with four weeks of really cool panels. This Wednesday, the panel, and I'm talking about this this much, you'll see why in a second, this Wednesday the panel is on emotional bleed in role-playing. And I have my friend Z, who's on, who is one of my co-founders of the Make Believe Project, and this really cool therapist nerd that I played this other game with, I think his name is Austin, yeah. is uh, joining us for this discussion on emotional bleed in role playing. It's going to be a really good discussion, I think. So that's the only thing I'll pitch today because that's the most important thing I have coming up. Otherwise, you can go to my Twitter and see all the other stuff I do. Awesome. Thank you. And I am Sarah. I just got done playing Susan and Nina and various adults <laughs> uh, in this. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Sarah of Swords. Uh, the only thing I have going on in the next week is uh, we are finally having our finale of The Thrall uh, this Thursday at 7 p.m., I think. Yeah, 7. We've played in a couple weeks uh, over on Channel Other Docs. So uh come watch whatever chaos gets resolved there if you like cyberpunk shenanigans uh yes florida alley cat reminds me i also got to play some teenagers in addition to adults so 
thumbs up to me. Uh, we are going to go drop a raid down to Raven, R-A-V-Y-N, and you can see us here next week. Same place, same time for whatever happens next year in Neutrally. Thanks, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. And we're out. Yep. Yeah.